I'll be gone to November. Go and mark your calendar. Phone keep ringing. Yeah, you know, that's how it started. Who do you think you are, bro? bro? That shit was heat. You don't like Raw Wave, bro? Nah, bro. I don't like singing niggas, bro. Especially not fat niggas, but that's. What? <laughs> you I don't little like... body shame. <laughs> Raw Wave, bro. It's... All right, so it's weird. I don't like singing niggas, and I don't like. Like PB Rock? Yeah. Hate that guy. <clears throat> um. Rod Wave, he's a singer that's also fat. Like, I feel like if you're fat, like, you should have a deep voice. It's weird. He do have a... I mean, it's kind of deep. But he's, like... He's, like, sweet. Like, How is he that's, sweet? He's, he's, that's because pain. he's, like... But it's, like, sweet pain. Bro, he's speaking from the heart, bro. You ever heard a Rod Wave song, bro? That doesn't make you cry. I've been broke so many times. I don't know how to breathe. Like, that's, <laughs> like, like, that's for, like, not for a fat nigga. That's tough. But <clears throat> yo, 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 welcome back to a No Regus Podcast, episode eight. And I'm here with my guy. If y'all don't know, bro, I talk about this guy a lot in the podcast. If you heard the words uh Ty, he's finally here, bro. What's good, my brother? Top op. Big op. Y'all don't know the the half of it. The hottest enchilada. Yeah. Why enchilada? That's that I have a question. <clears throat> why enchilada out of every the, food? Why is the <clears throat> why am I the hottest enchilada? Um, couldn't tell you a uh, reason why I'm the hottest enchilada. <laughs> it started off in like middle school when me, Gus, and Mark Allen used to play. Yeah, free GP, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, he was the hot quesadilla. I was Black Hawk, uh, and he was, and Mark Allen was a lucky ginger. Um, it's very racist names, but it the way. sounded very racist. I'm a big black guy named Black Hawk, and then, yeah, and Mark Allen was a redhead. He was a ginger. So they call him what? Lucky Ginger. Lucky, lucky. Ginger with an A. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It was a racist ass. So. Yo, remember your um one of your Instagram names? Um, I had a lot. I had the kite flyer, um, puddle, puddle runner. runner. What well, uh, what was the reference behind puddle runner? So for me, ah, I can't, I can't, I can't say that one. I I, I okay. remember. You remember? I remember. I, I remember. Do you <laughs> basically? I, I was running through puddles. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't say that one. Yeah. My girl gonna watch the podcast, bro. I can't. <laughs> oh shit. Oh damn! I thought yeah, it was a football it. reference. Nah, Wait, what? <laughs> nah. Wait, what was the football reference? I told you. I thought it was because you'd be grinding and you'd be playing football in the rain, so you'd be running through puddles. I might have said that, and it might have been that at the moment, but that's not what I thought in my head. <laughs> no, in my head there was a whole different reason. <laughs> Bro, like but, yeah. really the puddle runner. I'm glad you grew out of that because that was really your main IG name, bro. It was puddle runner, kite flyer, um, superfluous, superfluous. What? I haven't made a hot chalada yet. I think I gotta switch it. Yo, that's uh, <clears throat> yo. You still um? Isn't that your Twitch um? What's it called? Your Twitch name? Oh, uh, my Twitch name is BT Three Streams. Oh yeah, BT Three. What does that stand for? <sighs> yeah. Beef Top Three. So, beef. It was like beef. What's that for? <clears throat> Me, my boy Kenny, Babap, Babap Teast, mm-hmm. my boy Steve, Medium Rare. <laughs> we are three. A group of three. Right, you called Steve Medium Rare. That's his name. <laughs> <laughs> Say it with some respect. That's what he's defense. He will lock lock up. He will, like, so oh, Steve Medium Rare, right? Medium Rare beef. I'm well done beef, right? So what's Steve? Is between. Steve is medium rare. Oh no no. But, Ken- but, oh, you said Kenny. But the name. Okay. So it's three of us, right? BT three beef top three. Mm-hmm. We're known as the Beef Clan. Anything we have is beef. Because when we play and people are like talking shit or whatever, we just say beef. Like, they, we don't say nothing, but just like, we get to the mic and just, beef. Like, <laughs> and then they're like, what, bro? Like, you suck, bro. Then Kenny whaps a three, beef. Just straight like that. You know what I'm saying? Kenny, bat beef. That's it. So this is for a 2K or anything? 2K. Then we're playing, like, if we're playing Call of Duty, like, one Warzone. of us, one of Warzone, one of us is top three. So, like, I might be at the bottom, but my boy Kenny is number two. Feel me? <laughs> so he brings you all up. Yeah, or if or if Kenny's at the bottom and you're number like two or three, I'm number one. You feel me? Like so, it's always somebody top three. Beef is always top three. The YouTube is BT three gaming. How's the how's the YouTube going? Are you still making Um, videos on YouTube or not? Or you still streaming at all? Kenny broke his laptop. Oh yeah, I forgot Um, about that. And he hasn't gotten it fixed yet. But we have videos in the chamber, Mm -hmm. so we need to release them. But. Plus school, organic chemistry is punching me in the face. So like, I, yeah. and then my boy Steve, he he wasn't heavy on the YouTube with us. He was just there for the content. 
Oh, so you should be in the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, so. When's the last time you streamed? Last time I streamed probably had to be August before I went to school. Mm. Because when I got to school, I haven't played that game. First, I didn't have Wi-Fi for like three weeks. I heard there was no Wi-Fi in the dorms. No Wi-Fi for three weeks. Then after that, I just haven't played the game because school had been beating me up. And then Coach Joseph Lagren over here. Like, Being Joe, yeah, got a condition and shit. So, <clears throat> oh, speaking of that, so if y'all don't know, me and Ty, we play at Rutgers Newark and stuff like that. We also play Union High School. Yeah, fuck Union, bro. We ain't... <laughs> <laughs> we don't rep them, bro. Sorry, Feely. We, we also played in Union Middle School. Yeah, I've... we also played in the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah, yeah. Tyron used to be chips. <laughs> he got a lot better. <laughs> be so trash. Tyron's I'm a, a demon now. Oh yeah, don't get, don't, <laughs> don't get it twisted, bro. Yeah, but nah, what I want to want to talk about is. So, I was I was gonna have you on before we have um, mm-hmm. practice to be like, what's our mental state going into? Ah, practice? that would have been perfect. I know, but <laughs> things went wrong with all my technology and shit like that, so I didn't even have a chance. So we're almost a week into practice. So practice started on Monday, the season, bro. How you feeling, bro? All what right, is your so thoughts? You can in, just let it out, bro. <laughs> it's already week one. <laughs> Yo, I hope Lock, I hope Lock sees this. Um, I hope so too. Going in, I was like conditioning. I was like, all right, you know what? It's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna make it because you know, like we be in the gym running. Facts. In the past, I've been in the gym running, and still didn't make the times. <laughs> so like, I didn't have hopes to do good in conditioning. I know what you mean. Now I'm a week in, and I'm like, I think the running is gonna be pretty light because the way he's been like. As long as we have good energy, he hasn't been running us for real. I mean, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I feel like he... Oh, yeah, knock on something, bro. Knock on wood, bro. Because he going to have us sprinting. We don't but have no GA. He's we don't have a, stressed. Yeah, yeah. Pressure everywhere, and bro. Kurt and DA with the sun coming. Oh, my God. DA, yeah. Tyler Ofre, who's still a basketball player. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a mess, but I don't think... I think there's going to be a lot of... It's going to be really competitive, but I don't think... The worst part, I don't think there's going to be a lot of running. That's oh, what nah. I was very... Because, like, that's what ruins practice. I know. I don't mind doing drills. But, like, when he says a minute five on the clock... Uh, after we white do White team on BS. the baseline. Oh. Then it's like... Now I'm like, all right. You, you think know? you think we're going to be on the white team? Do I think? Do I have a white on right now? I don't have a white on right now, but yeah. Oh, shit. I don't got we're white. We're on the white team. Oh, so we're white you team. Th- do I think we... <laughs> we are the white this team. Is our, this is us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He don't ha- he doesn't have me on the white team right now. I'm on red. I'm not gonna lie. I'm tight, bro. I'm so tight. I know. I seen it in your you face. S- you can see me. I can like see it in, in your pra- face, bro. I'm in practice. He's like, all right, you. He took two- both my point guards. He took you and Russ. Yeah. And then he put me with Chimdi Everett. You know the rest of them. Yeah. And like you know everybody's a ball player, but like we don't get no reps. He'd I know. Be like, He'd be hoeing y'all. But plus, like it's all freshmen, and then like Chim, like again, Chim's my guy, but like. When he feels hot, he feels hot. Oh yeah, I know. You so know how I be. He was like, he was like, we was going down. He was like, yo, feed it inside the tie, feed it inside the tie. Justin passing the ball. He was like, nah, I got a bust in these ass. Shot a, a pull up jump shot. And that's what, <laughs> yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. It all happens. But remember what you told me in the beginning, bro, of the first day of practice. He was like, yeah, he was like, my, my, my conspiracy. <laughs> oh, yeah. what is your conspiracy, bro? Um, wait, which conspiracy? You to- wait, you he thought we was gonna be on a JV team. Oh, let me tell you. So, and it's confirmed, so. What, we're JV? Oh, JV, I don't know about that one. Oh, okay. I'm not going to, all right, I'll tell you the first thing. My conspiracy was, he put all the, like, new people that he didn't really care about, the tryouts, and the returns that he didn't care much about, yeah. minus Jameer on one side, then all the people who he sees as potential in. You can see the difference Yo, on one side. He don't think we don't know. I've been here for so long. Yo, does he, like, and I'm not going to lie, like, if he kept it transparent with me, I'll be cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, he told me in the summer, like, yeah, you're going to be able to compete for play. Like, I you know, nah, look. Like, you just threw me, you feel me? I don't know, bro. <laughs> on the other side. And then, I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't know. But, you know, we still hooping, bro. If we on the bench or not. <laughs> we still- so, this was my m- mindset before. We're uh-huh. going to have a JV. we probably going to have a JV team or not. I don't know. Yeah. But. I doubt it. <clears throat> I was like, for I'm like, nah, I'm not playing JV. If he puts me on JV, it's deed. And then you were like, bro, if he puts me on JV, bro, I'm dropping 30. And I was like, you know what? That's a good way to drop. I'm That's not going to lie. Because if I play, like, if he puts me on JV and Tyler Ofre, like, my point guard freshman year was, is the coach. I'm getting the, it's it's a two-man game. Like, I'm fine with that. Yo, I'm not going to lie. I don't care. I'm balling out. 
So if he puts me at JV, I'm gonna I'm gonna hoop. Like I'm I'm not gonna quit because I love basketball and I'm like of course I I'm can't. not gonna let, that's if I if I quit that would be my ego being like ah you're better than that quit the team then yeah. what am I gonna do watch y'all play exactly I and, can't quit and I like and I like practicing too like practice yeah. is fun and shit so I think I'm definitely gonna if he does it but I don't again competing I, for oh of course varsity whatever but I'm competing to play. I doubt they do a JV but whoever's hearing this probably think we asked don't get it twisted bro we see you in the yeah. parks. 10 0 streak. Niggas definitely think we asked. We were talking about <laughs> JV in college. <laughs> like, these niggas arguing about JV in college. Don't get it twisted, bro. 10 0. We yeah, were 10 0 right. y'all in the parks, bro. I just got to put it out there. Like, I used to start. So, you feel me? I started my sophomore year. I started two games my freshman year. Then I tore my labrum. You tore yeah. And then COVID hit and was like, it, it'd be rough. It'd be rough. But it'd don't get it twisted. If y'all see us at the parks, it's really up. Like, I, me and Ty not losing. Actually, I'm, I'd much rather. Everybody think that we're trash and then challenge us and lose. Oh yeah, because like of course. God, I'm not gonna lie, like at the park, it's it's, it's anything very, goes, bro. It's I don't gotta do no high hands. Yeah, I, don't I don't gotta worry about coach on my out. back about shooting a yeah. pull up jump shot. Oh, and also, don't think we're ass. We have dogs on the team at Rutgers North. We have a lot of dogs. That's why it's very competitive. Shout we're dogs, guys, bro. But we have we don't we have some puppies, but what do puppies always turn into? Dogs. So facts. We facts. have dogs. Over Shout out to the guys, bro. But speaking on basketball, bro, you know the season started already. Yeah. Shout out the Knicks, bro. Yes, sir. We... Fuck Trey Young. Sorry. I, I, I have to say it once a week just to get it out. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, bro. Trey, we coming for you, bro. It's bro, up, bro. If it's... I ever saw Trey Young in person, I go for a dap up, like, it was good, my boy, and then drop like the middle. You go and dr- oh, drop the middle finger. Yeah, just and then just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But nah. I think we're going to be really good this year. I ain't going to lie. I have a lot of hopes. Kemba? Oh, shaky. Super mid-pack. Very. Like, he is, like, the definition of mid-pack right now. I don't know what's going on with them. Did he have, like, he had, like, nine points. Uh, they played like, today, but I don't know what happened. He low-key almost folded us the game. Bro, I wasn't even watching the game, bro. I got fantasy, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, I forgot Kemba Walker's on the team. Let me see what's going on over there. D-Rose? Yeah, yeah always plays close. D-Rose, yo, D-Rose. We checked Kemba on. Walker. Let's check in on him. What, six assists and, like, nine points? Mm-hmm. We just gave you my max contract, bro. Bro. You're supposed to be Mr. New York from yeah, the Yeah, no, you're freaking, you're back home, bro. Like, but I could let him, we'll let him get his feet wet. But he turned the ball over at the end. Oh, and almost lost his game. Almost lost his <clears throat> game. Thank God the Celtics, they was missing layups. I'm not going to lie, though. I thought that um, R.J. Barrett, I thought that R.J. Barrett, or I feel as though RJ Barrett is going to be on the most improved player list. Mm, I think he's, he's gonna, not going to get it, mm, but I think he's going to be in the list. I think I think he'll be in the running. I do think he's going to be in the running. Yeah, because he deserves. Honestly, bro, I feel as though he's he's probably the best defender on the Knicks. Oh, I mean perimeter defender. Yeah. Who I mean who else? Evan Fournier not going to guard nobody. He's Shout out to Evan Fournier, though. He tough. I didn't think he was that nice. That boy France. We, that's what we France. needed, bro. Shoot it. And he, yo. I thought Julius Randle <clears throat> Rand was going to fall off. Oh, I was afraid he was, too. No, no, no I'm, I'm like, yeah, there's no way he's going to be able to play like that for, like, another season. Like, the, the way he plays is low-key mid, like. <laughs> he plays like a mid nigga at the park. <laughs> like, the way his movements are? Yeah, like, the way he shoots, like, he's, like, turned, and then he just, like. I he know. Pushes the ball and his fadeaway is like really. Awkward. It don't be look like it's going in. It look but like he's butter. Bull. It is. And not bro. only that, like every time he passes the ball, it's a jump pass. I like, know. But he be rifling now, like bro. But he's got a lot better though. I'm glad. I don't think he's the number one option though. Like, but I think we need a De'Aaron Fox. Oh yeah. We need to trade Kemba for De'Aaron. Ooh, that would be fire. Or Donovan Mitchell. That would be tough too. Donovan and Julius Randle. That would be that would be fire. Cause Julius Randle, he's the type of guy, <clears throat> like. He could get in the post, and if they double off him, he's going to make the right pass. Yeah. But then if he gets in the mid post, he can go and score. Mm-hmm. But then you have somebody like Donovan Mitchell cutting, De'Aaron Fox cutting, who also play defense. It's going to only elevate the team. I know. De'Aaron Fox is very underrated. Yeah, but the Kings, they're they are the worst organization known to mankind. They're very bad. I yeah. feel bad for De'Aaron Fox. I don't think they'll ever be good. Like They don't even like build. Like, they just draft players to sell tickets, <laughs> and, like, no one goes. Like, <laughs> this is, like, a bad organization. Honestly, man. it really is, bro. I think whoever management is, they got Vlade, Divac, if he's still a manager, general bro, manager, you got to get the hell up out of there. They got, like, De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Hill, Bagley. 
Like, all right, let me get somebody who could dunk the ball because everybody wants to see somebody dunk the ball. Let me get a fast guy that can also dunk the ball. <laughs> oh, a shooter? Because people like threes. Let's get Buddy hit. They don't really build around him well. All right, Harrison Barnes, I guess. Let's make it look like we're building. And then he <laughs> fell off. They overpaid him. I mean, he's doing high averaging like 16, but mid- NBA, they throw money around, bro. Mid-pack. But. A mid-player can make 100 a $100 million in four years. A mid-player. Just not going to lie, bro. If I had confidence in middle school. <laughs> oh, okay. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I had confidence in middle school. Fifth grade. Uh huh. From there on, I would have been think in been, the NBA. You think you've been in the league? 100%. All right. I, I, I'm a firm believer. I'm 6'8, bro. Like, yes, that's true. You could, if you just, whatever you work, like, I work on my fadeaway for one summer and now it's a good shot. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, I know what you mean. If I'm like all year round, like, working on my ball handling skills. Like, in the summer, working on two things. If I'm, like, working on my ball handling skills, my shooting, whatever. And whatever it is for a summer all year round, AU. You know how many times... Bro, you know how much we went to the gym, bro? I know. Bro, when we were... We loved basketball so much, bro. We used to go to school, leave, go to the YMCA, hospital park, and just ball for no reason. Then we would freaking make... Do drills by ourselves, join AAU, after practice, do more basketball. Like, I know. We used to play a lot. Especially for AAU, bro. But like, like my son, hundred percent, or daughter, going to the NBA. Oh no, no, no! Like it's, I, it's that's that and me going to FBI are the only two things I can guarantee in my life right now. If he's six eight, bro, there's no way he's not making it to the NBA. That's true. Because I'm gonna have him doing push ups and drills, like or the NFL. Is he going? Is he just doing like? What are you gonna do with your son, like right. with the sports wise? Sports, I'm gonna start him off like, all right, <clears throat> pal. We're gonna throw you in the basketball a little bit first. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna force him. Like my dad was like, no, you. you Basketball, bro. Yeah. Like, I should have listened, but I didn't. But, like, like, that's kind of what discouraged me, too. But I wanted to play football. I'm like, you play football. Also, real quick, for all y'all short niggas that be telling black people, or not black people, tall people, oh, if you lift, you're going to stunt your growth. And Oh, yeah. I was. That's a lie. I was one of those. Yeah, yeah. You, were, you was lying to me, bro. I was one of those. People. I could have lifted, been just as strong as y'all. Looked. I might have told you that when we was kids. You definitely told me. No, no, don't bench, bro. And then I He's s- not benching, maybe squatting. Don't squat. Don't bench. Don't lift anything over your head because you're going to stunt your growth. And I'm like, I want to be tall. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, he's not tall. I want to be tall. And I would have still been tall and strong. But instead, y'all let me down, bro. <laughs> I could. This is the reason I'm not in the NBA or NFL right now. It's your fault, there's. But it's my fault. Yeah, it's your fault. Okay. But back to what I was saying. He's gonna be doing push-ups. He's walking around the house on his tippy toes doing calf raises, so he can have, be bouncy. A six eight bouncy. You're gonna guy. make him walk around, like the house. Like yo, toes up. Like oh, <laughs> when I see him. Yo, straighten up, my boy. Like <laughs> like he's straight. There's no like walking around the house like flat footed. Like what's he up with you? Straighten up, my boy. Yeah, like if I see him like straighten up, I'm gonna hit him on his chest, and he knows. Tippy toes, like, That's and then funny. gets your calf right. So mm-hmm. now he got that spring on him, mm-hmm. and he's six eight. Oh, so now, man. if he wants to be a Draymond Green that is bouncy, or because he's gonna play fence, the first and foremost, he's gonna play. Is defense. that the first thing you're gonna teach your son? Don't nah. Don't, okay. <laughs> first, I'm gonna teach him is that fadeaway jumper. <laughs> right, cool. Okay, because it's it's gold. But um, <laughs> but calf raises. So if he plays football, whatever, he's gonna be fast and be able to jump. Mm-hmm. Push ups. Now I'm interested in football, basketball. Volleyball. I forgot you played volleyball. Maybe baseball. I don't know. Nah, track. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't want to hate on track right now. I can get to that, but I can get to that later. But I'll put him in track if he's out of shape. I'm not going to lie. I, I respect soccer players, I'm but not, my son's not playing that. Yeah. I there's, so. there's, I, I'm going to be honest. Jay will let me put Put him Jay in don't soccer. even like soccer. Hell no. So soccer's not even. I thing. would put. I could. Put like I don't even soccer. mind soccer. Not gonna lie. Like <laughs> working the soccer games, I don't mind. It's cool. It. It's cool it's to watch. Cool. Maybe it's just because the but, people that's on our team, like I know them and they're my guys. So it's like maybe yeah. it's interesting. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah, no. But like I don't. I can't put like have my son be yeah, tough no. at a sport that I can't help him. Oh yeah, I'm not that's gonna lie. That's that's, that's how some kids like don't end up reaching the max potential in the sport. That's true. That's true. Because like. For you, right? Like, your dad knew basketball. Mm-hmm. So, like, you playing outside on the court with your dad. He be able to see, you know, this is how you shoot the ball, whatever the case is, right? Mm-hmm. If your dad didn't know how to play basketball, you'd be out there doing BS. Like, there's a lot of kids who suck at basketball. Like, it's, re- I'm not going to lie, it's really hard to be trash at basketball. Like, I feel like it's harder to be trash than it is to be good. <laughs> but, like, I, so, like, my son's playing baseball. Like, he's going to come back. Like, hey, dad, um, 
yeah, I had a good swing. I'm like, yeah, you know how you should get better at that? I can't tell him how to get better That's at true. That. What am I going to tell him? Like, swing hard? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, but, like, football, I can make sure he's a star receiver mm-hmm. or tight end. Yeah, then, he's going to be big, so he might be tight end. Yeah, he might be, he could be a tight end. If, if he plays basketball, yeah. Mm. Now, if I have a girl, she's going to... It's gonna have to be. I'm no. gonna introduce her to gymnastics. Don't put her in basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you didn't see your face break? Like, no, don't. Mm-hmm. No, not even gonna say why. Just don't. Are we thinking the same thing right now? Yes. Uh, <laughs> now, if she's big, if she's tall, she got a hoop, right? Okay, then that's. But I'm not gonna lie, she's gonna be an asshole. <laughs> Wait, why? Because like a lot of taller <laughs> girls get picked on. Oh, okay. She's gonna be a fight. I'm. She's gonna be a fighter. My both my whatever. Oh no, my daughter's gonna, gonna be fighting. Like uh, my daughter or son's gonna be a fighter. Like they're gonna get in trouble early on. Like <laughs> any like me, I was bullied. I'm a, I'm the six eight nigga that got bullied. <laughs> but like, like yeah, I said it. I said it. I'm the six eight nigga that used to get bullied, bro. First time I got beat up, right? Mm-hmm. And I have football practice, right? I'm with Jared and Elijah, freshman year of high school. So. He what's it called? He beat me up or whatever cases. Now like, my eyes busted, right? Not busted, but like a big swell, and I'm just yeah. a little bruised. But the only thing you could see was the eye, right? So yeah. I'm, I'm going back, Jer- Mind you, I, bro, if I see my man's getting beat up, bro, I'm hopping in. Mm-hmm. Bro, my man's Jared, who's a marine now. Or, yeah. Like he didn't hop in, bro. He just let me get beat up. <laughs> but you learn. You feel you gotta learn. You get beat up to you know you learn yeah. how to fight. Then Elijah, he just sat there and looked too. <laughs> That's a whole nother story. I was, I only had, I only got into that altercation because I was trying to defend Elijah. Okay. But that's a whole different story. And Kai didn't let me in his house. Second, like, I tried to run, we tried to run away into Kai's house. He was like, <laughs> nah, bro, you can't come in here. Either way. Yo. I'm going back and then I get to the house. I'm like, yeah, dad, we got football practice. I'm trying to like hide it and shit, right? And he's like, look at me. I'm like, I'm like yeah, dad. He's like, what happened to your eye, man? What's, what's up? Like, oh, yeah, I was embarrassed. You know what I'm <laughs> like, at this point, I'm 6'6". Six, six. Like, <laughs> I'm a 6'6 six, six freshman. Like, I just got beat up. Like, and he, he looks at me. He's like, what's wrong with your eye, man? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dad. No, no, no. I, I ran to a pole. We was playing basketball, and I ran right into the pole. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Jared was coming with me, so then we got in the car. And then he took us to practice. And then Jared got out. He's like... Turn around. What? What happened to your eye, man? Like, <laughs> he was like, you sure you ran into a pole? All right, you better learn how to fight. Close the door. And like, <laughs> you better learn how to fight. Rolled the window up and left. And I'm like, because he knew I got beat up. So yeah, then yeah. I'm in practice off out the car. Put the helmet on so nobody sees my eye. Niggas start seeing it. Tell me what happened to your eye. I'm like, got to a fight, man. I fucked that nigga. Uh, I can't tell uh, what happened. Mind you, the guy was older than me, right? You feel me? But I was still a bitch. This was back when I was a bitch, bro. But either way. <laughs> So that's why to my son, I'm, I'm not going to be like, and that tough of me, I'm like, damn, my dad just, he literally just called me. Like, he didn't even say like. I hope your son doesn't become a psychopath. Nah. He better There's have a, a lot of room mental. for that. There's a lot of potential for that. Yeah, you know? there is. I ain't going to lie, but he's going to be ready for the apocalypse. Okay. He's going to be 6'8". We're going to talk, <laughs> talk about the apocalypse after we give out the awards first. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be, he's going to be 6'8". Um, he's going to go to the league. He's gonna be a psychopath, but like a good one though. You feel me? Like, he's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna be a he's gonna be a good one though. You feel me? Like he he's gonna be one of those like he'll be Michael Myers two point uh, No, he's not gonna be a killer though, cause he's gonna have God in his life. Okay, we going to church every Sunday, mm. Sunday not Sunday. Then my daughter, gymnastics, bas- basketball, volleyball for sure, gymnastics, v- basketball, volleyball. I think my daughter's gonna probably play like volleyball or softball. Maybe I don't know if Jay wants to play softball, but she does. Cause Jay played volleyball too, so she could teach her volleyball. The reason I said gymnastics because my girl does. Oh, she used to yeah, gymnastics dance. and dance and cheer too. Jay did and, cheer. Yeah, and cheer. But like gymnastics, I feel like she could go farther than cheer. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Whoever's hearing this is gonna think we're a bunch of simp's, but it's okay. We faithful men. It's all, Have you had any faith? Am I the first faithful man on this channel? Uh. Is Fritz in a relationship? Yeah, Fritz. Fritz in a relationship. Me, you, and Fritz. Jordan is is lost. Is a lost cause. He is though. Him, him and uh, Mister Ukonje over there. <laughs> nah, UJ's bad. Corey was here too. I I don't even. Yeah, we're not gonna. We're even not even discuss about Corey, but that's a, that's. Corey, a I'm not gonna. We shouldn't even discuss about UJ. <laughs> that man is a. Me- I really wish UJ was right here. He's a menace to society, bro. He really is, bro. 
Bro, he has his toes. Bro, we're not, not going to you, Jay, bro. Yo, it's but before we go into the next subject, since this this was the start of the NBA right. season, right? I want to, because I'm going to bring you back. Because, you know, with this podcast, I'm not doing, like, guests and stuff like that. I'm doing, mm-hmm. like, the guys yeah. and Jay. We all just going to, this is like a community, but no regular community. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're not regulars. You know, gangster, bro. Yeah. So, when we're going to have a beginning season award, mid-season, and then we're going to see what our results is at the end. So do you, you have your picks for the like awards for the NBA this year? Like MVP, D, P, O, Y, all that shit. All right, so or do you want MVP me to name, right now. Or you want to name... Are you going to go first? No, you go first. All right. So, oh, I, I got a couple like underrated players and like overrated players and teams and shit like that. But okay, yeah. what I, who I think might be the MVP of this league, bro, not going to lie, after the, watching the first couple of games, low-key... I think Steph might do it. Yes, sir. I think yeah. he would do it. I believe. That was my guy. That was, I was going to say Steph. I was okay. definitely going to say Steph for MVP. Bro. Because last year, I'm not going to lie, he started tweaking, bro. He should have. If his team was a little better, he would have. And then on top of that, like, right now, like, he's such a bucket. You can't you can't stop him. He's the most dominant non-physical player. Not that he's not physical. Mm. But, like, when you think of dominance, you think of, like, Heck. Dwight Howard, Shaq. Like LeBron dunking on somebody, MJ dunk. You know what I'm saying? So do you but think his dominance is up there? It's that his dominance is underrated because point guards, like elegant point guards like him, mm-hmm. elusive point guards don't get the dominance like factor named onto them. Yeah, that's like, true. That's true. Chris Paul, like he's a physical guard, but he won't like even in his best, he won't be labeled dominant. But he was so dominant passing the ball mm-hmm. on Fanduel. I could put six assists over every time, and he's, and he's gonna, get, gonna get. He's the... so that's what I'm saying. Like mm. him, um, Westbrook, a dominant point guard. Now, when they say dominant point guard, because Westbrook dunks on people, yeah. he goes to the lane. He's he's physical, mm-hmm. but Steph. I would say Steph is more dominant than Russ. Even though mm-hmm. Russ, you know, missed a triple double, and I love Russ. Yo, Steph, but Steph, Steph is the, the game, most dominant. Bro. He's the most. He literally well, changed the game. He's the most iconic of our of our generation. Like he honestly, nobody was shooting deep threes like that, bro. Like he honestly, like because of Steph, he made like big men have to be athletic. Mm-hmm. Cause exactly. if you switch on him, it's literally over. So, there's nothing. You there's can nothing do. you could do. Like they not even big. It's like a small forward. If you're exactly. like, too big, bro. Like I think he he got rid of the four. Like the the low post four, he got rid of him. No, no funny. He created like. That deep three, if anybody shot a deep three, it was all over like Sports Center. Mm-hmm. Like that time, Paul George said, "Yeah, yeah." And shot that. That was made like, it. That was on clips for the next year and a half, bro. Mm-hmm. But Steph is normal. Steph is now it's normal. Like you see Jalen Brown shooting a deep three, it's cool. Yeah, you don't see it on highlights no more because nah. Steph, like he shoots that. Like, like he, he made game, it. Like bro. now you got to play up more. Mm-hmm. They're thinking about putting a four point line. I think that would destroy the game. Nah, that's that's a low max. I don't I think feel like they that's do OD, that. bro. Like that's not fun no more, bro. Yeah. So it's an arcade game. Nah, that that's a little bit too much. That's that's OD. That's not. Yeah. But all right. So defensive player of the year. I know you have your thing about defense, but I think if he's healthy, I think AD could be defensive player of the year. I think he's due for one. But let me hear. I know he's you. Due, got. He's due for one. Mm-hmm. But nah. You don't think so? <laughs> he's due. I think he passed it. For his defensive player, days. oh, like like his um it was, potential, he, he would have had to get on the Pelicans. Yeah, yeah, You're not gonna get it. With I know what you mean. But um, defensive player now, I'm bigs don't get enough respect, right? But I don't think that a big man should be getting this award because all they do is block shots. Mm. Now, you take somebody like who guards the ball, like Marcus Smart, should have a deep boy. Marcus Smart? Yes, I said it. Marcus Smart. I said Smart. Marcus Smart should have a deep boy. Patrick Beverly should be on the list to, to maybe get one. You know okay, what I'm maybe. Well, how about Ka- I'd rather Kawhi than Marcus Kawhi Smart? Kawhi already has one. I mean, he has two, doesn't he? Oh, no. I think he has one. Uh, no, he might have two. But either way, because they guard the ball, it's not about the stat. Like, you know, everybody looks at the stat for blocking. Like or Rudy steals. Gobert and stuff like that. Rudy Gobert, he blocks shots, but if you see him in the ISO. It's you over. Pu- you pull him at the top. What deep point my ass? Steph Curry's <laughs> fighting him. Like that's true. Honestly, Steph- that's actually facts. Steph Curry's getting any shot he wants, and I understand. Yeah, you're a big guy. It's hard. Now, all right. Now, somebody who excels at blocks, like that time Hassan Whiteside went off and had like eleven like blocks, a, eleven like a, a span where he was getting like a double double with blocks and and rebounds. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? A triple yeah, double yeah, blocks, yeah. rebounds, points. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's outlandish. You need that award. Mm-hmm. But then now we bring it to the subject of the best player to play defense. Ever alive, who is super underrated, 
Tony Allen. Oh, he's not underrated. I think everybody thinks he's the best. No, 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 no. Not enough people talk about him. Well, did he ever win it? Uh, he should have won one. He should have won. Bro. He, yo, listen. Listen. Oh, by the way, our logo for everything and our mascot and our our king for beef, beef, beef top three, is Tony Allen. Is that's our really? that's our father. <laughs> that's our guy. Okay. But look, Tone was the assist basketball player offensively mm -hmm. in transition. <laughs> Like and you dribbling the ball, passing the ball. Mm -hmm. The only thing he could do was guard. He started <laughs> on a basketball roster. That did they make it to the conference championship? The Grizzlies. Uh, I think they With did. Mark, I think they did. Either Mike, they did or they got right bounced before. out. Yeah. Either way, bro. He started on that team the entire year just to guard, bro. That's really what his job was. He was a liability on offense, bro. Like, I mean, I thought he had a little jumper, bro. In 2K, his jumper is a D minus. Okay, never mind. Lied. <laughs> Lied. Like, you leave him. We're good. Let him shoot. <laughs> but my boy, my boy, Tone, you're not getting past him. He's diving nice. for the loose ball. Like, stuff like that. Like, he doesn't get blocks and steals, but mm -hmm. whoever he's guarding doesn't get past the three point line. Mm. And I think that that right there is what makes a defensive player. Like, Kobe should have a D boy. Mm -hmm. Kobe didn't let people get by him, he was physical defender. Like, I think he should have one too. That's what I'm saying. And then the same thing, Tone, like, not only that, he does everything on defense. Like, he'll box out. Like, he's boxing out. He may not get the rebound, but he's pushing that guy away. Mm -hmm. He's working hard on defense. Offense, he's chilling in the corner. Yeah. Mike Conley, Marcus, I'll go to work. I think, I think defensive play of the year is more based off, of like, stats-wise. That's why I don't like it. That's true. And I feel like, like, all right, Giannis has one, right? I think he has. Yeah, I think he has one. Like, it's cool, Giannis, but, like... Giannis is a little less of a liability because he's like so long, mm -hmm. so he makes up for it. But like, but it, he he deserved one of them. He yeah, he I feel like one. he deserved because he was he was like really anchoring on that defense. Mm -hmm. But like somebody like Tony Allen, you whoever you stick him on does not get their average. They get below their average. You think Drew Holiday will win one? No, impossible. <laughs> impossible. He's a good defender, but a little over it. Him and damn, right, it hurts me to say this. And Jimmy Butler, mm. if you if you actually watch this man play defense. <laughs> He be letting niggas go by him, bro. So you think you think Jimmy's overrated? No, I love <sighs> Jimmy is not overrated. He's perfectly rated. Okay, okay. Because he does so much things on the he does everything. On, he's he's a true basketball player. Uh huh. He rebounds. He plays defense. He scores. He can pass the ball. He can rebound the ball. Yeah. He's a leader. He, him, and Russell Westbrook are the only two people that I believe in the league right now have Mamba, what they call Mamba mentality. Yeah, I can. Because I don't like oh, Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving's not a killer. Like, yeah, he can score, but like Mamba mentality is scoring and then not getting scored on. You Facts. feel me? Like, I never seen Kyrie take it personal. Mm. Like Jimmy Butler will take it personal. That's and, like, true. Go and guard the guy. Russell Westbrook. When he goes at Damian Lillard, even if Damian Lillard's kicking his ass, he takes it personal. Not no buddy, buddy. Like not Kyrie Irving after. He's like, oh respect, man. That's all I'm like, like it's cool. Like, like yeah, like <laughs> it, like you know, I I get it, but like Westbrook takes that personal. No matter what, if his team loses, he takes it personal. That's true. That's true. Same thing with Jimmy, but like, mm. but Jimmy, he I'm not gonna lie, like he offensively he's starting to fall off a little more. I mean, he got help. He got help now, but like, make it three, my boy. But like, that's true. That's that's about it though. Like, All right. How about do you know? This might be a little. Hard. How about a uh, most improved player? Who do you think will win that one? Off the top yet? I have one. I don't know if this counts as most improved because he's this is the second year. But I think okay. Anthony Edwards, low key, he's gonna go. I think he's gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna lie. A hot he's take. Well, like I could see Anthony Edwards averaging like twenty, twenty three, twenty four. Four man. Um, Vanderbilt. Jared Vanderbilt. He's a hood nigga. Yeah, he is. Car Anthony Towns is underrated too. He is because he's been Most hurt off. though, and he's been going through a lot of things. <laughs> His whole family's dead. But like, I, I had to say, I get it. Yo, I yo, 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 yo. Because me and Corey talk about. Nah, bro. Corey's a bad influence, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro. It's, yo, bro, what? Like, I feel bad though. I would never <laughs> wish that upon my worst enemy. But yo. look. You like know he's crazy. My dad used to work with his mother. I know. There was a time I was at Rutgers, and my dad was like, "Yo, he's like, answer the phone right now." I was like, "Why?" He's like, "Just call me." I'm like, "All right." And he shows me. I'm taking the. I'm taking the shit. 
And then he's like, he's like, look, look who's here. He put the phone in his face. I'm like, what the hell? I'm in the bathroom. I'm like, and this is you see, um, Dad? you see Carthy Towns and shit. He's like, yo, what's good, D? I'm like, what the hell is going D- on? Why are you calling me by my nickname? Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? So I'm shitting right now. Bro. That was bad, weird, bro. <laughs> That's OD. I ain't gonna lie, that said you were He did, bro. He could have said like, yo, answer the phone and what an NBA player. You do. All right. Let he me. didn't. He didn't say that, bro. Damn. He didn't get you a workout. Damn. <laughs> I know, right? That's OD, bro. But yeah, I but think. I think they're two guard Beasley. He's a good scorer. Yeah. They need more defenders though. I think. Um, who they got? Yeah, they might. But I think they can. I think they can. They can sneak in there by. and then lose. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And let me think. Six man of the year. Carmelo. Let me stop. Yeah. Um, six man of the year. I think D Rose. Tyler Hero. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. Yeah, Tyler. You think he's gonna go crazy this year? So Tyler Hero, he is a good scorer. Mm-hmm. And he's cocky. Yeah. Which is good. Because mm-hmm. he has a lot of confidence. A guy with a lot of confidence. And remember, he was going off. He's always been going off. Yeah, but it's just... But now, he's not injured. And now, they have a lot of tools on that starting lineup. He's going to come off the bench and spark. Yeah. And, like, if he can do that consistently, he's going to get it. That's a good take. I think that was a I good think one. He, I think Tyler Hero should get it. Mm. I like Tyler Hero. And the last one's Rookie of the Year. Do you know any of the rookies? I do. Um, Cunningham's not getting it. Um, I, I actually had him as getting it. Oh, you do? Why? Because I just feel like he's on the the Pistons. <laughs> right. Like, like, he's on the, the Detroit, bro. Like but, like, they have a lot of young. I mean, him, Jeremy Grant. I think Stewart. I think he's a bum. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I, like, when I look at Cunningham, I don't see a dog. Like, mm. listening to him speak. Like, but I I'm, I have a lot of emotional aspect when I look at a player in the NBA. Like I look at him and I'm like, him like, yeah, I think I should be the number one pick. He didn't sound confident. He just sounded like a nigga that knows he's good. Yeah. And like, wants to say it because it's the cool thing to say. I know what you mean. Like, who said it? I just think he's very all around. <sighs> Six eight could defend. I think niggas could guard that in the league, bro. He, they say he's like Luca 2.0 with a little more athleticism. Oh, that's, that's the most beef ride I've No, not like like he will be like Luca, <laughs> oh. but like but like stature wise, he's six okay. eight. Yeah, but like I, Luca. But he's more athletic. You don't got the IQ. What make like Luka, I mean you got a little Here's the thing. Luca doesn't have an athletic body. Like he's athletic, you know, mm-hmm. but Luca what makes him so good is his IQ. Facts. Like his footwork, his IQ to pass. Him reading you know, like all that stuff was make Luca one of the best players in the league. Mm-hmm. Cunningham not having that part and having Luca's body actually makes him worse. I was gonna say my pick was gonna be Jalen Suggs, and let me tell you why. Uh huh. I was I was thinking Jalen Green too, but eh, Jalen Green I don't even know who that man is to be honest. Jalen Suggs. Oh, I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. He has thirty eight fantasy points, so I'm like, oh, he's going off. But no, he has 14, eight, eight, No, no, no. He's going great. Fourteen points, seven rebounds, and eight assists. That's true. So, Curry, MVP, Depoy, I said AD. Yeah. You said Marcus Smart, where we're just going to ignore that. Six man of the year, I said D-Rose. Who'd you say? Tyler Hero. Tyler, Tyler Hero. Hero. That's tough. I think you might be right on that one, but we're going to see in the middle of the year. We're going to come back, and we're going to do our midseason awards after the first half, like during All-Star break and stuff yeah. like that. I said most, most improved player, I said Anthony Edwards. Most improved? Yeah. I would love to see RJ Barrett get that award. Mm-hmm. Don't think he's going to get it. You know what? Pool. Jordan Pool. Mm. Jordan Pool. Okay. That's I'm only one. saying that for the clout, though. <laughs> because, like, I'm not going to everybody's talking about Jordan Pool went off for preseason. It's preseason. First game, he did pretty good. Jordan Pool. Let's go. Nah. He, Jordan Pool. Okay. Jordan okay. Poole. And then rookie of the year, I said Cade Cunningham. And you said Jalen Sucks. Yeah. I think that's good. We're going to see how it's going, how this is stacking up yeah. to be. But now, let's shift over to the new subjects, bro. <sighs> Yes, sir. <laughs> if if people be watching my if y'all watch the podcast and listen to the podcast, you know I talk about Tyrone a lot. And in the first episode I was talking about it, we was talking about the zombie apocalypse. And don't get don't be fooled, bro. This man's six eight, but he he's ready. I'm so locked in, it's incredible. Like like UJ said he was born ready to be in a zombie apocalypse. Tyrone Tyrone is, I take my like zombie apocalypse happens right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna last longer than you, Jay. Okay, so 100. You caught. you brought something for us to see. <sighs> I got I got a I got a backpack. <clears throat> Let me explain this to the people. 
this is my apocalypse bag. So what it has in it is a lot of things which I'm going to go through. But an apocalypse happens right now. Like right now, Darius gets a call from his dad like, yo, I just got bit by a zombie. Zombies are everywhere. I'm good. Because I have the bag. <laughs> like, I'm straight. <laughs> this bag this bag got me, right? Darius, on the other hand, doesn't have this bag. So he may need my help. But this is for me. <laughs> but look. So then I'm good. If they're like, when COVID hit? This bag, I moved it to the dorms. I was ready. I have a lot of things in here. I really want to know what's in that bag, bro. Any apocalypse, if it's, <clears throat> uh, you know, a war, like World War Three happens in New Jersey. Yeah. I'm I'm straight. I'm a, I'm going to go down south, go visit my man's Jameer, and live in the woods for a little bit while oh, we and, just um, shoot each other. Wait, where, where do you live at again? Mullica Hills. There we go. Mullica Hills. There we go. I don't know where. So, <clears throat> by Rowan University. And I'm going to... Have my I'm gonna stay in the woods, mm -hmm. scout a little bit. If not, if it's like a zombie apocalypse, I I'm super for that. That's gonna be last. If it's just like COVID, niggas are just dying from air. I'm still <laughs> straight. I'm still so straight. Isn't like I'm still good. If it's like um, mad cow disease. How which, about an alien apocalypse? Most... Now, if al aliens and robots are pretty tricky. Mm -hmm. If aliens come down, I'll be good. But I need people. Okay. Aliens come down. Bathy. Aliens and robots are basically the same thing, if you mm -hmm. think about it. Because they're both... If an alien decides to attack us, they're already more advanced than anything we've ever seen. Just like robots. Yeah, just like robots. It'd be way too advanced for us. So yeah. then they take over. So then it'd be kind of hard. Mm -hmm. And the reason... This is the main reason why it'd be hard for me to go out and scout to get food or, like, I have asthma. So <laughs> me to get inhalers from Six. pharmacies. So, like... <laughs> Six, eight with asthma. Yeah, it's a pretty bad condition. I'm not gonna lie. But then, like... Any what other apocalypse like, say like nukes get dropped everywhere? You're you're good to go. I'll be good. So what are you best suited for? Best suited for zombies. Oh okay. my gosh, zombie! I I'm not gonna lie. Like at night, like after I like take a hard exam or like shit goes left, I kind of like I don't pray because praying is crazy. <laughs> but I kind of like, kind of ask for like zombies to just happen, you know. But I don't want my friends and stuff to die. But like I'm gonna be good. Like. <laughs> Cause then I wouldn't have to pay my loans off. Like that organic <laughs> chemistry exam that I just, you know, bombed is not gonna matter. Like <laughs> Coach Locke telling me to get out the gym because I didn't make a fifty five won't matter. You feel me? Like so you just want to end it all. My girl be mad at me won't matter. Zombie apocalypse. Now I'm king. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> like you feel me? Like no one can mess with me. Are you gonna explain your plan? So look. Yeah, let me hear it, bro. Zombie apocalypse happens. This is the. I've let me put the bag down first. Yeah, we'll get to that in a little bit. Bag is with me. Yeah, as long as y'all know the bag is here. This is what happens. Zombie apocalypse happens. First thing happens on the news. It's going to be something build up to it. Like, oh, well, COVID is turning into, got mixed with mad cow disease because that's the most like Closest likely thing. thing that would make zombies. Yeah. And people are just attacking each other and getting sick from it, right? Mm -hmm. So once I see that, like when I saw it happen in China, I was like, it's coming to the US. I'm ready. Re-up. I'm good. <laughs> the first case of zombie juice, the zombie disease, is in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Now, this is where, wherever I go, this bag has to be on me. Yeah. Now, at that point, whatever money I've saved up, I'm going to take it and have it in cash. So, you're just right? going to walk around with cash? I got to have I gotta have half of it in cash, and mm -hmm. I got to have half of it in, like, in card. Just so I can swipe, go, whatever cases. Yeah. <clears throat> now, I'm going to be staying at home. If I'm in Newark, in the city... I want to get out of there. <clears throat> but say this happens. They're like, oh, yeah, stay in your houses. I'm in Union, New Jersey. I'm in my house. Yeah. Mom, my brother, Junior, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to lock down. All right. We lock down. We board up the, the doors and stuff. But in our basement, we're immediately, I'm talking immediately, we start digging a hole, a getaway hole out the basement. Like, <laughs> we break down the concrete on the wall and start digging. So we, if somebody breaks into our house, like, we want all your, your juice and candy. We go out the hole. You mm -hmm. feel me? Then, or we open the window up, whatever, right? So you need a getaway. Yeah. Now, Folks, write this down. You need a getaway. That's mm -hmm. one. Two, you need to find the woods. The okay. woods are your friends. You don't want to be by too many residential houses, whatever case, because there's too many rooms. In the woods, it's out. You can lay low. You can whatever, but you don't want to, in a res like, especially in the city. City is okay because it's almost like, the, almost like the woods, but like... You go into a building, so many rooms, doors, and stuff. You walk in and things behind it. 
like you could be walking and making noise, no one you won't know if somebody hears you. Yeah, yeah. Zombie could come out. Zombies aren't the problem, people are. Yeah. So look, mm. boom, if I'm in the city, immediately they're like, We're shutting down all highways, there's no way to get out. Um, everybody stay in your dorms. Tyrone Bones, you're stuck in Newark. No, I'm not. What I do is <laughs> I grab my bag, I put it on, I leave, and I'm going to walk. I know how to walk. I'm walking the bus route down home. <laughs> now, ideally, I want to get to Montana. Now, oh, shit. Now, this is part of it now. Likely, the zombie apocalypse is going to happen when I'm about 30 years old, right? I have this play. Like, 32 years old, 34, 35. The latest, I can guarantee it. I guarantee it. By the time I'm 45, there will be one zombie apocalypse. <laughs> or some, some viral thing to take over, right? Guaranteed. <laughs> I'm gonna have a house in Montana. Okay. If you you could look up like doomsday bunkers, like you can, if you have like about what seventy thousand dollars, you can pay somebody to dig a hole and put a bunker in there. Mm-hmm. Plan to do that. So <laughs> I'm gonna have one of those in Montana for emergencies, and I'm gonna be living in there. The mm-hmm. reason why I choose Montana, say governments are still here. Yeah. I can go to U.S. or Canada. One. Oh. Two. Anybody coming near my house, I can see them from far away, and they have no cover. I'm gonna have a. a Crossbow and a sniper. I see. What are you doing here? Like, hey, bro. Don't come over here, my boy. <laughs> then they, they're like, I just want some food. Warning shot. But please, shot to the dome. Sorry. You're dead. It's over. <laughs> then now I can see them. No uh-huh. one's sneaking up on me. Okay. Now, when I have to leave, say they're in the front of the house and they're coming. And I'm like, oh, that's a lot of niggas. I leave out the back. They won't see me because the building. Like zombies. If there's a lot of zombies, straight to the bunker. I'm in there. Okay. The, the bunker's going to be able to sustain me for at least four years. Like, it, it, uh, three years. Okay. Now, back to the bag. Let's okay, the yeah, bag. let's get to the bag. Now, I don't need a place to stay. That's the thing, people. The, people are worried about, where am I going to live? I can be on the mood. I'm a nomad. Feel me? <laughs> Something happens right now. Like I said, your dad's like, I got bit by a zombie. Well, D, I'm going to catch you because your dad's going to come back and think he's good. Unfortunately, he's not. So, I'm out of here. <laughs> Grabbing the bag. And I'm going to go wherever, right? Say it happens right now. Yeah, let's see what's in the bag, bro. <clears throat> that sounds like a hefty this, bag. This is good, right? I have a hammer in here. You can use it to attack people. You can use it to open doors. <laughs> you can use a hammer, like the edge of it, to break chains to get into things. Right? Uh-huh. Break windows, attack zombies, anything. And it's a, it's a pretty a decently long hammer, so you don't have to get too close, right? Uh-huh. And I keep it in the side here. So... Yeah. I don't have to have it in my hand all the time. Feel yeah. Me? Boom. Then we go to the left. This side yeah, right here. What the hell is that? This side right here. <laughs> Yo, what is that? Has a slingshot. Yo. Now, <laughs> let me take the slingshot off. This is the this is the most important thing. You, know, you ever shot a slingshot before, Darius? No. Now I don't have any marbles, but you only need rocks, brother. <laughs> so this is the slingshot. You put it here. That's why this is here. Uh huh. And then you put the marble, whatever you choose in here, and that squirrel is dead. <laughs> this is for hunting. This you guys is a hunting kill a squirrel, a chipmunk, a rabbit, a small baby. I don't know. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to shoot, this slingshot got you. Are Boom. you serious? You could kill something with that? Yeah, this thing like you can. It breaks glass very easily. Like what? if you get a marble or rock, and you just like, yeah. And I know. How, also, I'm not stupid. I know how to make a slingshot out of tire tubing. <laughs> and some wood. I made wood before. It wasn't a Boy Scout either. So, <clears throat> the bag also unfolds. Now, if you see the straps. Yeah. It wraps around your bottom waist and your top waist. This is a military bag, by the way. The bag is bulletproof, not impact proof. So, if it shoots, if you get shot, it will hit you, but it won't go through. So, it won't pierce your skin. You'll break a rib, but you won't die. Okay. Main thing. So, I'm protected. Now, this strap, it helps you so you can run. You ever run with a backpack, you're going to class, you're late, you're flopping all over the place? Yeah. This is your back. This is not a Oh, flopping. it is your back. This is your back. You, <laughs> you strap this around here, you strap it around, you pull the, the latches over, and you strap it up the top, you're good. This you can ju- I can play defense with this back. <laughs> like, I can I could probably lock, like, Dante up with this backpack on my back. <laughs> now, now. You're wondering, like, you don't have a canteen tie? Come on, bro. I don't need one. What? The it's fuck? in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> the bag so, so that's a what is that it's water there's a pouch in there. so the way you refill it in here there's water in here there's like a little sack like a little douche bag yeah you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> like a little like a little bag in here yeah with water right now it's not all the way filled because i don't want to leave and you have to clean it out yeah 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 little, but like whatever right 
and then you fill it out, you put it, I haven't cleaned this, so I'm not going to put my mouth to it, but, and then you pull, you turn the nozzle, you pull, and you have water in here. Uh-huh. So I always have water on me. If I need to refill it, all I have to do is just open just take, this, and then there's a little thing. And you and just fill, fill it with water? With, fill it with a hose. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So what's in the bag? This is just on the outside, people. This is this, not like... That's the outside, bro. Oh, also on the outside. Now, again, if a zombie apocalypse happened right now, I'd be good, but I wouldn't be at full potential. You feel Why? me? I don't have my crossbow. Okay. Now I need a crossbow because that is the most efficient weapon in a zombie apocalypse. Or bow and arrow. Now bow and arrow is a little harder because you need more skill, but a crossbow more attainable, and you know you can repair it. It's harder to repair, but you can do it, right? You're valid, bro. You want to go big pockets? You want to go small pockets first? Hey, whatever you got, bro. We're gonna go to the, the big pocket. Yeah, go to the big pocket. I don't need the small detail. I just want the main. I just. So, so what first. The? Oh, gas mask filters. What the fuck? So, this is for a, and whatever, a gas mask filter for both sides of the gas mask that I have that I usually keep in there. <laughs> All right, that's one. Now, if I find another gas mask, it's a different type of gas mask filter. Uh-huh. It's a totally different type of gas mask filter. Right there, right? Extra pair of underwear and socks. <laughs> this is important because you can develop rashes on your feet uh-huh. and by your balls if you're not clean. Now, mind you, only two pairs tie. What's up? Like, you need a little more? You wash them in water, bro. We good. You on the run. How bro. long you've had this bag for? Like, when did you this, make this? this? So, this backpack specifically, I got on my 18th birthday. My brother gave me this for my 18th birthday. This backpack because uh-huh. he was in the air force. Yeah, it was a different bag. My old remember that big ass military bag I used to have. Mm-hmm. That I used, I used to have one like that. But it was a lot bigger and it wasn't. Did you as have it for a zombie apocalypse? Yes, I had it stuff in there, but it wasn't as ready as I am now. Okay, okay, okay. Also in the big pocket, a tape measure, of course. You Why? Measure. Just in case you need to measure how long, like if you're making a shelter, you need to uh, measure you want to make it properly. Like <laughs> you measure. organize. Also, a pen and pencil because you need to write things down. You know, keep the history going. Mm-hmm. I have <laughs> keep the the world history going, so you're gonna like make history books. Also, like for yourself, like all right, don't go into the Toys R Us. Oh, right? okay, okay, okay. Because like that's actually like, smart. I'm not gonna lie. Spot like because you're gonna be traveling a lot, looking a lot. You're like I don't remember. Why haven't I checked this Toys R Us before? Probably nothing. Let me go in there. There's a five million zombies in there. That's a con- containment zone. Have you ever watched The Walking Dead? That's my favorite show. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Makes sense. So <laughs> something like that. You feel me? Yeah. In the big pocket, I have. It should be ten. I didn't count it, but ten bottles of water, Polar Spring water bottles. I didn't count it, but I can see right here. It's about accurate. It might be missing one or two, because um. So you have actual when water. COVID bo- hit. Yeah, I yeah. didn't go to Costco to buy a big thing of water. I was like, I'm just gonna pull from the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um. Should have 10 bottles of water. Mm-hmm. I can make that last me about four days before okay. I can find more water. <clears throat> you can ration. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now. I hope y'all writing this down, bro. Because if y'all need help for a zombie apocalypse, Ty is your guy. He's been waiting for this moment to now, shine, bro. This is where it gets, oh, it gets crazy. So It's not crazy I yet? should have more. Oh, I should have. All right, so look. Whoa, what remember, is this? Remember, I have asthma stuff. So... This is uh, drugs, so when you want to get hot... No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, all right, so <clears throat> ibuprofen, I originally had this for my back. Okay. For inflammation. Oh, oh, so, so that's the, the prescription one, prescribed yeah. ones. Oh, okay, okay. But also for like somebody like, I pass out, I can't run. Darius, look at my bag. What it says on this, go to the pharmacy and get that exactly. That's oh, why I have okay. the writing on it. I have ibuprofen, I have sinus medication because... I'm weird, bro. I get sinus infections like three times a year. Right now, I have a sinus infection. It's not contagious, though. So yeah. Don't think you're about to die. But yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I get sinus infections. It's weird, bro. This is an uh, antibiotic. So any uh, bacterial disease that you have or any bacterial infection, this should knock it out. I'm more at the crib, but like I said, I'm sick right now. So I'm going to, yeah, you know, yeah. more for the apocalypse. You know, I'm ready. Then um, rubbing alcohol. Okay. What's the rubbing alcohol for? So you need rubbing alcohol to clean things. Yeah. You don't want to apply it to your wounds because what it does is destroy your tissue of the wounded tissue that, that's open. It oh, destroys look it. at you. You learned in so, something. Yeah, that, <laughs> wow. You don't, want to, you don't want to apply the, the rubbing alcohol there. But this is rubbing alcohol. A lighter, I, there's a lot of stuff I see online that's better. This lighter is not good enough because if it gets wet, it's deep. Mm. But like... I'm like, Ty, how are you going to see, bro? I got a flashlight, bro. Fun fact, this is the flashlight that my brother used in the military when he was in Afghanistan. Oh, really? But, um, oh, he was actually in Afghanistan? Yeah. Oh, okay. He killed some Taliban. But I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 Yo, it has his 
name and stuff engraved on it. It's really cool. So that's why that's why I want this one specifically. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah, it's cool. But I gotta fix the spring in here. So you got a flashlight. All right, flashlight. What the napkins heck? and more hand sanitizer. Okay, is that everything in the bag? Oh no, we didn't get to the bottom pocket, brother. Come the on, bro. bottom pocket? Yeah, bro. Are you crazy. So there's no, you all got no guns in there. Oh, you didn't see the blick? Let me say no guns here. <laughs> Yo. So, I've canned food, of course. Yes, yes, yes. So you actually got a can of peaches? Canned fruit, of course. Canned fruit, Chef Boy RD. Canned food. Um, what else? Vienna yeah. sausages. Um, Do you have spam in there? I might. More peaches. Yo. <laughs> Yo. More sausages. You had this all in that bag. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, when did you first wanted to create this bag? Like, what age were you? When I decided that I didn't want to die in the apocalypse. I don't... This might have been, like, high school, sophomore year. It was just a pipe dream. It was just like, ah. You know, I'm going to be ready. You know what I'm saying? Just theories. Then, Yo. like, senior year, I'm like, nah, I got to be ready. Like, I can't be <laughs> the guy not ready. Like, you're going to be the guy not ready. So then I started putting the bag together. And it only really had was the hammer and the slingshot, which are very important. So the, those were the first two? First two additions, yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> wow. Sir. How do you think if, so there's so-called ever be a, God forbid there's a zombie apocalypse. How do you think? God's it, crazy. <laughs> How do you think it would happen? Like I think either nuclear war is going to happen mm-hmm. or oil crisis, fighting over oil and going to war. Yeah. Or something like COVID is going to mutate too fast for us. Yeah. Like COVID is mutating now. but Wait, how is nuclear? Oh, like we're, the effects of nuclear war is going to? They're going to nuke DC, uh, Newark. Uh, New York City. Why did they go for Newark, bro? Because they got to hit somewhere in Jersey. Too many people in Jersey. <laughs> they gotta, if they let Newark niggas live, bro. You don't want... In the post-apocalyptic world, you don't want black and mild, bro. But, <laughs> yeah, but then after that, then like all those cities get nuked. Yeah. Radiation fallout, shit like that. Mm-hmm. And then it's going to be like... Government's crumbled. Like It's going to be bad, right? Yeah. And I think that's what's going to likely happen. Or mm-hmm. oil, and we're going to go to war. And like, I mean, find a war for oil when we could have cars that run on water, but that's a whole different thing. Yeah. Um, I think it's gonna be that, or it's gonna be a virus that like COVID is mutating, but like we have it under wraps. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like it's gonna be something that like like Ebola, like an airborne Ebola. Mm-hmm. Like Ebola was like when you like COVID, you get it and you could still help people. But so you then, think like, that's how a zombie apocalypse will start? I think it would something like. An airborne version of that, that's, or it spreads too fast because Ebola, you had to touch their sweat or something. Yeah, like you can even touch. You think their that sweat, could turn right? people to zombies? Zombies. Like, the only case of zombies is mad cow disease mixed with something that like that can spread because mm-hmm. mad cow disease doesn't spread unless it's like in you, like injected in you type shit, something like that. I know what you mean, but I want to talk to you about. Cause I remember we was talking about so. We were talking about, like, aliens and things like that, mm-hmm. right? And I have a story to tell you that I learned from Leonard. What you don't know is you big folks are very weird. Like, le- my boss Leonard is 6'7", 350. Yo, that grown... I was going to say that, boy. That grown man Leonard, bro, he's huge, bro. bro. He's huge. You know he almost went to the NFL, right? He almost... He tried out for the, the Ravens. Wow, he had to be tough. Mm-hmm. Damn. But anyways, he's, he's just like you. Acts just like you, bro. Like, no, he the- doesn't. He got called by the government for looking into stuff too much. Like, he was uncovering things, bro. I'm low-key about it, though, but go ahead. Like, so, he told me the story, right? So, do you know who Jack Schneider is? Yeah. Wait, who is? He, he took government secrets. Oh, and, you actually know yeah, who that is? Yeah, but do you know the story of Jack he's Schneider? He's in Russia? The, Talk about that, homie? I don't think it was Russia. But this is what he told me. So, Jack Schneider, he was a he's a geologist, I yeah. think. And he was... He works for the government to build bunkers ah, underground. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, go ahead. So he built bunkers underground. So he was building this one bunker, and a sinkhole came out, and mm-hmm. stuff came out the sinkhole, and he was like, what the hell's going on? And then the Green Berets show up. Green Berets. Oh, the army. So he was like, what the hell's going on? Because you know when the Green Berets show up, something so is crazy. happening. Yeah, they're, they're so being trained. He's like, nah. They're like, nah. Don't, don't pay this no more. Like, come with me. So they go down into the hole. Because, you know, he's building underground bunkers and stuff yeah. like that. So he goes down in it. I don't know where it's at, but he goes down in it. 
He has a oh shoot, he has a, a pistol on him. Only one little gun. He goes down there. So he goes down there. He sees a seven foot like gray being. This is what Leonard told me, and I seen a video of this on YouTube. I seen this. Vi- you I did? seen a video like this. But keep going. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I seen a video like so, this. So yeah. seven foot tall being, but he said it smells like garbage, and he pulls the pistol out, like just straight gray. I forgot what you call them, like the big grays or something like that. He shoots, kills one of them. The the other one goes like this. It goes this in front of his chest. A blue beam comes out, and like you know how you hold the gun like this, like he's holding like this. It cuts off his. Like three fingers, so now he only got these two fingers in his hand, and like the, the, the fingers holding it. Yeah, so like he so shoot, he's he's like about to shoot the next. He's one. like this, and then the, the alien is, and they say, zoom, boom, and cut his like he only got these two fingers, so it just yeah, and, like he it it burnt him, and like it hit him like in the chest, but he was good, so he got up, and then the green berets are shooting these the the aliens and stuff like that, and he they pushed them into the elevator and pushed them up, and he's just seeing everybody just like die down there, and they're just like having a war down there. So then he's like, "Yo!" So then the elevator went up. It went and he's up. Like he's like watching them shoot. And yeah, and just just dying, bro. And like, there's he's like, "Yo!" Like, what the hell just happened? And then he went to the government, and I guess the government like had to tell him what's going on. So what they found out is, like, there's, like he what he what I've heard. Go bro, ahead. You want me to drive home by myself? But go bro, ahead. Go chill, chill. What what I've he found out was that there are eleven species of aliens that live amongst us. That we don't know about. 11 species. We don't know where they are, but they live amongst us. And he, he, he you know how he went around telling people yeah. about aliens are real and stuff? And you know, yeah. he, he died, right? Yeah. You know how he died? How did he die? They uh, said the government killed him. Like they, he's, they he's inj- talking too much. Yeah, they injected him. And they say he, he died in his sleep. But he was on a chair looking out the window. Injected his ass. But he was going around telling people like the story. He, like he sees, um, there's like... 11 species of alien. There was a a guy, Valiant Thor. He's a he works for the government and they he said he's an alien. Like he's one of the smartest guys like he's ever met and he's like a he's an actual alien but he looks human. And he's like created so much things that like technology wise and he's like for us is he yeah, trying to like he's helping us. Oh. But he like he knows a bunch of languages. He oh, um he's like he's, he's helping us because he knows the aliens are crazy. He yeah, crazy. and like he said, he has like an IQ of like one sixty or whatever, like how higher than Einstein. And they said he's like an alien. His name is Valiant Thor, and like he's looks human. He works with the government, but he's like an alien, and he just knows so much. He knows a bunch, like I said, a bunch of languages, all that stuff. And what he's saying was like the aliens is like here. They are they're here to like watch us. Make sure we don't do nothing stupid. Because, like, you know, we could just... Them people could just fire nukes everywhere, just destroy the world. But, like, they're just here... Like, they're amongst us, but we just don't know about it. So, the aliens are here to make sure we don't nuke ourselves? That's what he said. So, like, if Biden was like, you know what? I don't like China. And just, you know, say for some reason they... Like, Trump actually went through with doing all his extra shit. Yeah. Like, they would stop it before... They'd probably just shoot it down. Before it even got anywhere near it. So you want to hear something I heard about exactly that? <clears throat> was this in Alaska, Alaska you were talking about? Uh, I don't know where it was, but this is just like a story that I heard from Leonard. He didn't tell me where it was, though. So I heard about something in Alaska. Mm-hmm. They went down there, and they were digging. Bunkers? Like that. It might have been the same story. It might have been. <clears throat> and they went down there. Oh, no. You told me that one. We agree on that one. Yeah. There was one where there's like, there is a bunker. Mm-hmm. But... Like, constantly and currently, there's a war going on underground. Like, we have aliens that live underground. Yeah. But it's consistently a war going on down there. And they're at the North Pole and the South Pole. Really? And so, basically, what they're saying is, like, all right, aliens are, like, we go down there and we're stopping them from coming up. But aliens don't want to be interfered or some shit like that. So, like, we're just constantly going down there and dying. And they're, like, seven feet tall. Mm-hmm. They look weird, and then there's aliens at the bottom of the ocean too. I feel like deep under there, deep below the crust, because crust is a thick layer. Yeah, I think there's actually like there might be some type of species down there. No cap. Oh yeah, no. But like, you understand how scary that is? Like, you walk like you're on, un- bro. One being underground, I'm not gonna say that's one of my worst fears. I shouldn't even be. I don't want people to know my worst fears. <laughs> but if for some reason, I'm deep underground. Like, the only way up is like a ten hour elevator ride. Oh no, that's deep. Because there's. 
there are miners that have to do shit like that. Like, Ten it's, hours. It's like a seven. It's like a seven hour elevated ride to go mine coal and get oil and shit. Seven you hours. Remember, you didn't hear about? Remember? I think it was Chile. Chile. Oh, the little. They got stuck under there, and it's like a six hour elevator ride or three hours. I might be exaggerating. It's an hour or something. Just imagine. It's being longer than ele- two hours, bro. Just imagine being on an elevator for two hours. But bro. it's like a little shafty elevator. So like, if you move around too much, it starts to click, 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 click. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know. But say you're that deep, right? And mm-hmm. the only way out, bro. Is a long ass elevator ride to the surface, mm-hmm. and over there is a whole bunch of zombies. Uh, not zombies, aliens. Aliens, like seven foot tall. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the scariest thing to see is the alien face, like the two eyes and like the little. Sleep. Like, do we even know what they look like for real? We don't. Like, what if they're shapeshifters? Like, that's what I'm saying. There might be living amongst us right now. We don't know about. It. If niggas, I would want to know if so. If it, if I'm like, all right, if they're like, all right, yeah, there's aliens here. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, just throw the whole bag away. It's, it's there's deep. no point. It's deep. Because <laughs> like, if there's aliens already here, bro, there's no hiding in the underground, the subway, in the woods. They know human activity. You know what we're gonna do. If they've been here already. All right. Most of them are gonna think they're slick by hiding in the woods mm-hmm. or hiding in Montana. But really, they're watching us. Yeah. Like, you look know, there's a six eight nigga over there in the bunker. Like, <laughs> get him. Like, you feel me? Like they know. Like you ever you ever heard of this theory? It's called the zoo theory. What's the zoo theory? So it's basically you know how you go we to are a zoo. We're in the zoo right now. Like, you know how we go to the zoo and we watch animals? Yeah. So, I, I heard it's like, <clears throat> aliens know we're here and, like, we're a test. So yeah. They test things on us. So, when diseases happen, natural Ooh. disasters, they throw things at us to test how we react. Like, we do experiments like that. We do that on monkeys and... So, like, we're the monkeys. We're, we're the monkeys, the little dogs. Like, um, any experiment we've done psychologically with animals, they do it with us on a wide scale. Like, aliens... So, COVID, they might have dropped that junk down there. Yeah, they might have like, all right, let's start it off here. This is how it's going to be made. And, you know, they're pretty intelligent, so they make a probable cause. And then they see how we react and see if we're intelligent to develop. Now, on top of that, I feel like they're leaving out certain tools of the... Because I feel like there's a different, like, dimension, a different plane. Like, you know, we see in 3D, like, you can see in 4D. Like, it's a whole different, like, sphere of life that Mm -hmm. we don't have. And if we have that, our technology will make a giant leap. But they keep that away from us because we can't not, even process it. Think we're not about ready it. yet. Think about it. If you've never, like, think about somebody seventeen sixty three. If you've never seen a TV, if somebody in the sixteen hundreds, you've never seen light, like Facts. a phone. If I walk up to you and you're from the sixteen hundreds and I show you a phone, what type of witchcraft? <laughs> think, if somebody comes to me right now, yeah. floating in the sky, like, like. I believe this week, butt ass naked, floating in the sky. Like, <laughs> like, I'm saying, like I'm saying, like a like a grown man or woman floating in the sky, butt ass naked. That's Jesus Christ. Facts, facts. Back then, they would say it's witchcraft or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Because like, it, but I feel like there's something like maybe we didn't unlock in our brain. Mm-hmm. We didn't get to level seven yet or something. Like we're on a different level. Yeah, like we're like, and they're keeping us here. So then, and then like, all right, we're starting. When to we're leave. when we're ready, then they're gonna give us. So like, us. Mars is so far away from us, like mm-hmm. seven month trip. Yeah. Seven weeks? Is it weeks or months? I mean, it might be light years. You know how, like... Nah, Mars is, like, months or weeks. It's oh, I don't know. But, either way, like, something like that, like, oh, the closest you could get is Mars, but, yo, there are... We know that there are so many... I didn't know this. In our galaxy, mm-hmm. there are millions of solar systems. Yeah. There are billions of galaxies. Exactly. In the universe. So, there's got to be... They, somebody... And which, the universe is constantly getting bigger, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like... Like, what the zoo thing is, bro, like, what I was saying with the zoo theory is basically, like, you know how you go to a zoo yeah. and you watch animals and, like, they think she, like she, they think they're in a normal habitat. So, that's what the aliens are doing to us. We think we're in this world, but really, they're just watching us. That and they put us here. It's not they put us here, but it's like... You think they're watching the podcast? Oh, they probably are. They probably <laughs> hear me right now, bro. They're going to cancel <laughs> that. Like, it's like... Because, like, if a... Like, say there's a tiger in a zoo, yeah. right? Like, they have, like, trees and stuff. Makes it look like their habitat. But yeah. really, they're not in there. Like, they're not back home. Yeah. So, with us, this, like, we have all these things. You think we're, this is our like world. observatory? Nah. Like, it's like, like, if you go to, like, the Bronx Zoo, yeah. those animals know damn well they're in the Bronx. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They know damn well they're in the Bronx. It's concrete. That's fact. That's fact. They just throw cigarettes at them, bro. They know. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> Like, if you go to, like, an observatory or some shit, right? Yeah. It's, like, their habitat, and you're looking at their habitat. Mm-hmm. So, they have no clue. Like, they might get a peek at you, and they're like... What the hell is oh, that? Beat the sh- oh. Like, oh, beat the shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like... Think about... All right. Like, think- say... You ever, like, be walking, or, like... 
be in your room by yourself. And you think you see something? Yeah, or you feel like a little... You're like, hey, what? Imagine that's us right now. Yeah, and zoo. it's like, there's like somebody under, like, yo, what was that? But they're in a different plane of existence. Like, they're like right in our mitt right now. But they like don't... One of them was like right here, like, but cursing he, me out. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'll never he, know. Because ex- I think I'm cool. Facts. And what you were saying about like, they put little things out there to see how we react. You ever watch The Maze Runner? Yes, bro. Like, they put different thing. little things yeah. that we just think is normal. Like, you know, natural disasters. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we to- we're totally different. He said that just racism. Nah, like, he said like, racism. Nah, I'm not going to lie. You know, they, their experiment probably started off really cool, right? Yeah. And then some piece of shit has to be like, you know what? <laughs> I don't like this nigga. <laughs> like, and we just started fighting each other. Like, what? <laughs> like, they're probably looking at us like, these niggas are dumb as hell. Like That's really it, bro. Like... You, he's really mad as hell because, <laughs> like, he looks darker than him. Like, you're the same. He said like, racism. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, give him your emotions. Go crazy. You Yo, feel me? Like, nah. I that's really, OD, bro. That's crazy. I never thought of it like that. That's scary. But, like, natural disasters, like, shit, like, and think about it. History repeats itself. Mm-hmm. This earth has been here for so long. We should have seen nothing new besides, mm-hmm. like, all right, new disease. But... New shit, like, is happening. Like, our asteroid... Now, every damn month, I'm hearing, oh, we just missed the... A asteroid. asteroid almost yeah. hit us. It they're trying to test... Between us and the moon. They're testing us, bro. They really are, to see how we react. They're like, all right, yeah, yeah, Throw another one at them. A big-ass a big one. But don't let it hit. Don't let it hit. Don't let- <laughs> they throw one, and they're like... I bet you, like, the United States was just like, damn. Honestly, all right. <laughs> look, they probably don't throw the asteroid, but they, like... They don't tell us. Yeah, I feel like in our government system or in the world's government system, there's like a big group that runs the world. Yeah, that we don't know about the Rothschilds. I said it. So listen, if you look up the Rothschilds, Mm -hmm. they are a family. They have the most money. Okay, and like they run everything. They run like Rothschilds are connected to every industry we have, Mm -hmm. and they like run everything. So like Rockefeller and them, like whoever's the highest in Rockefeller, like Mm -hmm. Rock Nation, whatever, they go to. Like the Rothschilds and Rothschilds, like, all right, we're gonna do this. This is how I want the like the Rothschilds tell Russia, all right, we want this. To so happen. why are they like? They up? had so much money that now they're put in a spot where it's not money doesn't make their power anymore. It's the stuff they have. So like they had so much money that they developed technology. They had so much money that they developed. Ways so is this to like a, into everything? Is like this they, like an actual family, like mother, father, son, and daughter, and just um, went down the line, or is this like a? It started off as a family, but the Rothschilds are like. An organization now. It's a whole bunch of like they're in impl- implemented anywhere, like, everywhere. But I think they and they like they run the Illuminati. Every they're above everything. Okay. Like, they literally like you think all right. Well, the Illuminati is in charge. No, the Rothschilds. Yeah. Are up there, mm-hmm. and they run everything. They command. Like look up Rothschilds and dig into it. Mm-hmm. They it's one group that runs Pepsi, Coca Cola, um, Wilson basketballs. Rutgers, Newark, like <laughs> Poland Spring. It's, somebody runs all of that shit. Bro. Yeah, yeah. And it's one group. It's, watch out, whatever the different name. It might be a different name that we can't look up. So that's the conspiracy that they control everything in this world. It's fact. It's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's, a, it's a conspiracy, though. But yeah. Yo, that's, that's crazy, crazy bro. bro. Yeah, it gets incredible, bro. But I have another question. Yeah. So with that bag, mm-hmm. say we're in the per. So we're going. So, since it's almost Halloween, right? For that purge. <laughs> Do you think you could survive the purge? Um, me? Yeah. What would you do in the purge? It's kind of hard. Like, me, personally, I'd stay my ass right in the dorms. No bullshit. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't stay in the RA room. I'm an RA, by the way. I wouldn't stay in the RA room. I was like, oh, I'm going to beat the shit out of that RA. Like, oh, six eight nigga. Like, I'm going to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I'm going to get the key to one of the little suites or one of the somewhere... No one's gonna look. It might be a regular, degular ass room, and chill. Or I might go to the woods. I'm not mm. gonna chill in my crib. I mean, it's for a day though. I'd be in the woods for a day. I might go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah. Like, or go to my crib. I might go to that park right there, <laughs> right by your crib. Like just chill, like in the like in the woods in the back and watch. Look at the park. Niggas are gonna go there and mischief, like do dumb shit. They're not gonna come in the woods though. I guess, but you know, there's, there's those people like <clears throat> like with me. If I'm ever in the purge, but I feel like I'm a, I don't think I'm gonna die, but I feel like I'm gonna get hunted down by some random person that I did dirty by accident. <laughs> not even, not even do dirty <laughs> like, like I like it's like a homeless guy I didn't give money to, <laughs> or like somebody like I was like, like somebody I walk past him like damn this nigga stink. Yeah. And then he heard me. He's like waiting for the purge to kill my ass. 
Or I just get caught in the line of fire. Those people that just randomly hunt people. Yeah, that's down. why I don't want to be like out too, because like. If you're out driving or out, like, I don't want to be a nigga trying to rob niggas. Because, like, you run into another group that has more balls than you. You're like, oh, you think you're robbing niggas? Yeah, you go freaking kill One you. One that shit, nigga. Like, because I'm not, I can't kill nobody. Mm. But, like, I can hide pretty well. Like, I, so, you know, like. <laughs> you 6'8", you can fucking at hide my dad's crib. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Where the fuck you go hide, bro? <laughs> like, at my dad's crib. Like, you saw how big my dad, it was the biggest house on the, on the street. Yeah. So, they're going to rob that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's two car garage. They're going to rob that shit. My mom's house, it's a regular house. Like, yeah. nothing special. But my brother has a nice car, so they're going to try and break in. <sighs> take his Audi. Take his his Honda. So that's why I would want to stay there. Mm-hmm. Newark, I'm yeah. I'm not going to lie. Shit might not change. Like, <laughs> like honestly, like, niggas be shooting in Newark on a regular. So I think niggas just going to, like, not near us. You might just hear it. On Washington or University. I think the know? homeless people are just going to run into the buildings and just get as much food as I'm not going to lie. They be trying to do that already. <laughs> so, like, it don't really... I mean, Purge, honestly, I think I might just... I honestly... That's one thing where I don't know. If it's forever, then all right, now it's just anarchy. Then, yeah, I, it's then, then, then that's different. I just go underground like I want to. But, like, if it's, like, for a day, I honestly... That's really hard. I might have to, like, people. Mm-hmm. Be like, yo, there's you and your family. Good. Like, we got to get oh, together. I might. Who's the poorest friend that I like? Who has the most least appealing house that I know? <laughs> I go to their somebody. House. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna say, but I'll go to their crib. That's funny. The, as least, a, the least appealing crib that I know. Yeah, yeah. I'll go to my cousin's house in the Brooklyn, like the projects. Yeah, go there and like. You're gonna check every pro- every I feel house. Like the racist project? people gonna go to the like the KKK just gonna run into Brooklyn, <laughs> burn down a project building. Yeah, they're just gonna go crazy. You know how they be. I'll beat the shit out of the KKK name. <laughs> No bullshit. Like, what would you? I have a question for you. Uh-huh. We were talking about this. You're walking down the street. This, there's like three scenarios or two scenarios. Mm-hmm. You're walking down the street. Yeah. And you're by yourself. You're walking home. You see a KKK nigga with the hat and everything by himself. He's walking. He looks tired. He looks exhausted. And he's walking. And he's like walking past like the. He's walking down Vauxhall. You're about to turn onto your street. Yeah. What are you doing? What am I doing, pal? Are you gonna like? Oh shit! Let me get in the crib. Or you're going to beat the shit out of that nigga. I'm just... Like, if he's just walking down the street... He's walking away from you. His back is... He doesn't even know you're there. He's like... Exa- you could tell he's exhausted. He's walking by himself. He's nah, like, I think I'm just going to leave him alone. Because if I beat him up, they're going to come after me. They want you already, though, bro. I know, but like... They're going to know me. They're going to give... It's going to give them a better reason to get me. For me, I see that nigga off rip. Closest friends around... Then you need to come outside. I'm like, whatever. Like, <laughs> about get your dad, <laughs> get your mom, get Jay. Come outside, bro. Like, call UJ. <laughs> UJ's pulling up. I know it. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm calling Kai, Eli, I'm calling John. And then, like, what happened? What happened? That nigga, right? I'm following him while I'm on the phone. That nigga right there. When he sees us, we jump, we beat the shit out of him. The other scenario was, you're walking with five of your niggas, bro. Yeah. You're walking with Fritz, Jordan, Ish, UJ. <laughs> and bash. <laughs> right, no, nah, honestly, now, bash and, it's gonna... four, and it's four of them. Four of them? Are they it's all? Four of they're them. all ex- exhausted. They they just look regular. They don't even look exhausted. They're just walking, and having fun. Like, they're ah, walking ah, ah. like, oh, yeah, them niggers. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's what I'm saying. Like they're just walking. And shit. Now, folks, over. Yeah. Like, wait, all right, now are you gonna be like, all right, we're gonna go fight? What do you think your group is gonna do? Your group of friends. What do you okay. Think is gonna what I think is gonna happen first off. Off rip, I think Bash is gonna do something. What like sprint? Yeah, Bash <laughs> is gonna sprint at them. <laughs> Ish is gonna Ish might be cooking, so no no, Ish Ish is Ish is Ish might be fried, but when he's fried, he's gonna go, he's gonna like he's gonna be like, like who the fuck are these niggas? Oh yeah, hell no. Know. He's like, nah, I'll beat this. Like he'll start doing that, bro. And then UJ UJ will go, bro. Nah, I think UJ will just go, bro. Me and, Straight up. Me I and Fritz just gonna be like, yo, what the hell going on? <laughs> like, we'll just be in the back. We'll just be chilling in the back. But them three, they nah, are, Jordan, <laughs> I don't know. Jordan's unpredictable. So, but if he sees them going, he I think he's gonna go. with his balls. Look at <laughs> I saw that shit what he said last time. That dirty nigga. I said it. <laughs> Jordan, you nasty, bro. <laughs> yo. Yo. But like, no cap. I, if it's my friend, I, bro, it depends. Like, if I'm with y'all, five on five it, though, right? Yeah, five on five. Oh, if it's five on five, I might be like, hold up. Yeah, because you don't know what they got They're in that game, bro. <laughs> don't they don't know what they might pull, pull out. out, a out pitch fork out of yo, that bro, I don't know. Sorry. If it, so, say it's me, you, Corey, me, you, Corey, Jordan, Chim, 
Jim. And Jordan. Jordan is go is the first one with no hesitation. I don't think Jordan's bro. Can I tell the house nigga story? Yes, yes. So little. I don't think Jordan's going. I don't. <laughs> me and Jordan aren't gonna go for. Like, hey yo, look at this. Thing. We then maybe we might, Corey. Corey's gonna be like, yo, let's be, he's gonna be, yo, let's beat the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you sure it's five oh five? Or Corey's gonna be like, bro, I'm about to beat the shit out. Are you gonna follow me or not? <laughs> and then Chim's just gonna go because Chim's just like action for some reason. Yeah. So he's gonna go, and then from there on, now I'm not gonna leave my niggas hanging. Yeah. The question is, are you gonna follow up behind us? Bro? I don't know, but so you're gonna let's shoot a five on four. No, no, no. I feel like I might have KKK to. KKK niggas. No, 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 no. I might have to. I might have to make it even. But if I'm gay, if if, they, if it starts going two on one on me, so I need to help me, bro. <laughs> so I need to help me, bro. All right, so let me tell the house nigga story, bro. All right, so me and my friend Jordan Salisbury, I'm six eight. Uh, my friend Jordan Salisbury, he's about six three. Maybe six three. We're athletic beings. We're on the basketball team, and we're walking from practice, having a, a time of our life talking about Lock. Lock <laughs> is our coach. We're like, yeah, he's a man, whatever. Practice was fun. And we're walking, we're in Newark, we're walking down university, and this light-skinned crackhead, whatever, we don't know what he was, he could have been a crackhead, a dope fiend, he was definitely a dope fiend, jo- Jordan would definitely tell you that man was shooting, just finished shooting up needles, he's walking with a backpack as big as my go bag, mm-hmm. he's like, with empty water bottles on it, and he walks, he's walking next empty to Empty water bottles? Yeah, like, it's weird, bro, so <clears throat> we're walking, laughing, and he walks right past us, he's, in first he's in front of us, he says, shut up, nigga! <laughs> he just looks 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 me me and Jordan in our eyes. Shut up, nigga. And we're like, what? So I I think it's a joke. I start laughing. I'm like, yo, Jordan, yo, this is I like, yo, your man's as funny as hell. Like, why is he, I thought it was your boy. Who what what man walks up to two, six, three and above niggas and says, Shut the fuck up, nigga? Like, <laughs> who says that, right? So I think that's Jordan's boy. He's just playing a joke with him. Like, Jordan, yo, that's your boy, that's funny as hell. I'm smiling and shit. Jordan? Straight, he's not laughing no more. Jordan's looking straight and walking. I'm like, I'm like, yo, Jordan, you're not gonna talk to your man. I look back because now he's walked past us. Mm-hmm. It's like house nigga, <laughs> dumbass house nigga. And I'm over here like, yo, J- Jordan, what's up? And Jordan's like, bro, let's just go, let's just go. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And he's like, he's like house nigga, shut the fuck up, <laughs> shut the fuck up, bitch. And I'm over here like, what? I'm like, yo, Jordan. So we stop. And I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. Now he's testing our manhood. So then me and Jordan stop for a second. It's, like it's two on one at this point. Yeah. He's and he's like he's like your height, probably shorter than you. Yeah. And then we look at him and we're like, What'd you say, bro? What? You know, just trying what? Then he's he stops walking away, starts walking through, What? 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 House nigga? I'll beat the face. <laughs> shut the fuck up. And just starts walking towards us like he's about to beat the shit out of us. <laughs> so then me and Joe are like, Oh, he means business. So we do the little you know what I'm saying? And we turn around and keep walking and then he keeps <laughs> We hear him walking towards us, behind us, yelling at us, following us. So we're like, nah, we got to go. Just keep walking, bro. <laughs> he's like, How's, yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. That's what I thought. And then we're just walking. We're like, all right, bro. Yeah. Uh, we just went to Stonesby, went to the cafeteria and rubbed that shit off. I ain't going to lie to you. We, Yo, that's crazy, What bro. man in the right mind looks too... Bro, he's like 5'7", bro. <laughs> he looks at us. I'm 6'8". This man is 6'3". And we're like not small beings. He just looks at us and like, shut the fuck up. He was definitely on some acid or something. He had he was tripping, a needle bro. was in his arm sometime of that day. <laughs> and that's the nigga you don't want to fight. A lot of niggas might say, oh, those niggas are pussy. Mm-hmm. Uh, they didn't beat the shit out of me. They didn't jump that nigga. Yeah. You know what he would have did? We'd be like, what? What's up? He'd be like, I bet. Sing. Yeah. Pulled out a, a needle, not a knife. He'd pull out a needle and then gave. Jordan HIV, and then he would have gave me some shit. The STD pause it sounds crazy, but he was like, he would have, he would have, would have did some shit to us, or mm. one of us would have got our ass beat up because a nigga on heroin or crack, you can't stop them. They're going. They're not stopping. They don't feel no pain. Bro. They don't feel no pain. That's funny as hell. I, now, remember, I remember you told me that story. That's too funny. But since we're on the subject though, because. I, I, that's this is another subject we have like pick a side, bro. I have a mm-hmm. question. So, would you rather live in a world where sharks live on land and have legs, or live in a world where spiders could fly? Hundred percent sharks. Uh, you said the word spider. It was over. that's actually a fact. Once you said the word spider. Spiders can fly. Yeah, <laughs> imagine. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. That's their only weakness. That really is, bro. Like because I see a tarantula right there. I could run away from it. I don't gotta no, go. I'm good. Like There's imagine no... that jump just flew around. But he has wings. He has wings. Now, deep. and if it's a big spider, he's not gonna have like 
little fly wings where like web wings. It's gonna be like bird wings, nigga. <laughs> like he bro, if if one day I walk out my house and there's a spider on the door, right? Exactly. A I know venomous spider. A, vi- a venomous spider on the door, right? And I kick it and it just flutters away and flutters around the front of that. You see a bumblebee, how much they scare me? It- see there's a, a spider flying around my food, like coming around. I'm done. Now shark's your legs. It's deadly. This bag won't help me much. Mm. Now they can walk, like they can breathe on land. Yeah, it's like they're they're sharks, but they're land creatures now. Are they like hungry? Yes. Like they want. They food. hunt. They hunt. They hunt us down. So now that they have legs, I feel like they're intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> so now I feel like they're gonna form a pack to like. But if they don't, I, I rather the world with sharks though. Not gonna lie, sharks would be so. Much, are they fast, bro? If these are they Miles Garrett? Uh, they're equivalent to, okay, I'll say they're equivalent to, Leonard? Grizz- no, I mean, all right, they're the size, Leonard, shark, they're the size of grizzly. a, they're the size of a, um, a little bigger than a grizzly bear, a full grown grizzly bear, a little bigger, so I say like eight, nine feet. And they, they roam, legs. do they roam the streets or do they like have their own habitat? Like rainforest type shit. Uh. You could catch a wild one on a, re- on a random. Nah, it's like they live in like. We'll say, nah, not in city. They live in like the rainforest. <laughs> they live in the swamps. They live in the swamps. Swamp. There you go. So Kwame Swamp got yes. sharks with feet. Yes, bro. I ain't go. I ain't go lie to you, bro. That's scary. Niggas ain't taking the path. Um, yeah, I'd rather the sharks though. Spiders with wings. It's crazy. Even if they're small spiders, bro. Like if I see a spider in this corner of my my ceiling, I know he's not moving. Like if I see him move, he got to be somewhere close. Facts, facts. The fact that he could have flown and landed right on my head and then bite you, that's really that's the only thing holding them and back. I couldn't even be Spider Man. Yeah, can't. That's the only thing holding them back. That's why I feel like something made it. Like like spiders are literally the thing that's like almost a perfect thing, except they don't got wings. If they had wings, it'd been over. They have eight legs. Exactly. Eight legs. They make they webs. Like they trap things. Eyes. They can shoot. They're Spider-Man, but just like the insect. That's... Like, they can jump very high. Exactly. Some of them are fast. Exactly. you seen the ones in Australia? Number one place I will not live. I'll go to Australia, though. I want to. Oh, for like... Vacation. I don't even know, bro. I don't even know, bro. i seen some vacation pictures. <laughs> Them spiders A big are ass spider on the door. i seen that before. I, I've been thinking those fake, though. I see a snake. I, I fear spiders more than snake, snakes. Mm-hmm. I don't fear snakes. I do fear if I see a snake, I'm out. But Yeah, yeah. But like, I spider is deep. I know what you mean. But that's funny as hell. No. But last part of the show, since back on the Halloween topic, we're yeah. going into Halloween. You know haunted houses, right? You know the scariest haunted house in the world you have to survive for 12 hours? I think 12 or 13 hours. If you survive it, no, I think it's 13 hours. I can't remember. I forgot what it's called. You survive it, you get $20,000. Survive? Do you know what they do in there, bro? It's like you sign legal documents and they do whatever they want. Survive? Yes, bro. Like they, I heard they, they torture you in there, bro. Survive? Yes. You have to survive. So you can die. You you can't die, but it's good. Like they, I heard they pull people's teeth out. They freaking, they be like, they put you in like a box for like two hours, like a little refrigerator. Like, they just do weird... Like, they just grab you and just, like, torture you, bro. For I think... I don't know if it's 13 hours. I think it's they 8 hours. They definitely can't pull your teeth out. That's mad. No, they, they can't, bro. Somebody almost... There was only one person that almost made it out. And it was like, he did 7 hours. He couldn't take it. They pulled his teeth out? I don't know what they did to him, but he just couldn't do it no more. And there's, like, a waiting list to go Can you fight there. back? No. Oh, what type of shit is this? That's what I said. I'm not gonna... Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, if I could go in there with my homies... I, we we make I mean, it if, out. if you go in with your homies, they're gonna split y'all up. No, they're like, all right, y'all five going in. You first start. We wait right by the door, fellas. Like I think they freaking like you be- walk in the door and it's like, all right, you see Michael Myers. We're gonna chill the, there, have a little sandwich in hand, and then you see like a giant spider come out. D, get up. <laughs> like, Twenty thousand dollars on the line, bro. That's fact. That's a semester, bro. What's up? But, I don't know if it's t- like a group thing or you do a one on one. Because I heard, I heard like they shave your head, they do max stuff, My bro. Hair? Yes, bro. They, they. I mean, I'm good now, but you, that's crazy. I know. I'll be pissed. They tie you up. Tie you up. They put you. I heard they put somebody in a like a little ass like box. Nah, I of course like exactly. If you threw me in a coffin and I couldn't move, no light. Mm-hmm. So do you think you like? Would you do with that? needles with the ones with nails? Uh, I don't know what it is. It's just like a 
it's yeah. it's just something different. Like you can't even prepare for it. There's a bunch of people in there. It's not even scary at this point. Would I be? I don't. Twenty k. It's not even scary. To it's not even a, it's a not haunted even house a challenge. Bro. It's, not, like, it's, it's basically fear like, factor, bro. Yeah, it's just, I'm not gonna lie. Like, would I do that? Nah. If the, all right, the fact that they said they could pull my teeth out is crazy. Cause like, no circumstance will I let another man pull my teeth out unless I'm actually being. Well, I sign up for that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if I walk in, like, all right, bro. Like, I'm cool if you like hit me with a bat lightly, push me. Nah, grab bro. me and tie me up. They hurting you, bro. If you put a plier to my mouth, I'm like, yo, bro, don't, bro, don't do it, bro. I'll beat the shit. <laughs> nigga, I'll beat the shit. <laughs> they do it. <laughs> nigga, all right, untie me. What's safe for pineapple? What's up? <laughs> what the hell? Like, the safe I'm not word. doing that. There's no way. <laughs> then let alone, all right, you throw me in a box. If I know I'm going to be in the box for two hours, <laughs> I'm going to be prepared. Like Going in like now, say without the harmful, I'm like... That's an easy way to pass the time. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, we got this dummy. Ah, uh, whatever. They have mask on. Throw them in. Lock it. Clip. All right. 13 hours, I'm out. Nigga. Like, yeah. however long you want to keep me in here, I'm going to doze off. Mm. Feel me? Because I know no matter, there's an end. Now, yeah. if they're like, oh, it could be 24 hours, could be 48 hours. Nah, nah, nah. That's max. It could be this. That's I'm illegal. Like, that sounds illegal. You, you trying to kill me? <laughs> but like, it depends. Like, they could pull your nails. I don't know. Nah, I think that's OD. I don't know. It's Your something teeth diff- is max, bro, bro. It's something different every time. You know, bro. teeth don't grow back. I know, I know. It's something different every time. Bro. They can't pull teeth. I think that one's. I think that one's down the list, bro. That's what. That's what was in the descriptions, bro. That's what people. Somebody said. made it seven hours. Seven hours. They couldn't do it no more. Like a lot. Like, I've never been to a haunted maze or haunted house before. We're going to one for my girl for her birthday. Yeah. My first time. I'm really pussy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, wait, wait. Which one are you going to? I don't even know. Oh, don't go to Bane. Is it Bane? <laughs> He's called, why? Don't go, yo. You know what they do at Bane, bro? I think it's Bane. What do they do at Bane? Bro. Oh my God. PC. Bro, bro. They they split you up. You know that, right? Like you're by yourself. Like you don't go with the person you come in with. So say if I, I have like, it's like me, Jay, Chris, you, Jay. Every t- man for himself type shit. They'd be like this. They'd be like, all right, you got. They put whoever's going, and they just mix you up with random people. So you don't go who you're going with. So you don't like. I'm a gel, babe. Go in that group. We go like, together. Either that or it's like they just go like this. They just grab you, and then just bring you in. You go with a different, totally different. Group. Yeah, I heard you just they split you up, so you don't go with people that you know. That's what I heard. I can make anything. I can get through anything scary, except for spiders, bro. <laughs> like if it's a hallway, only way out is to go through the spider's cave. It is the slowest thing I've ever seen. I promise I'll turn it around. You can't turn around or I'm going to hit you with this axe. Hit me with the axe, bro. I'm <laughs> not going through the spiders, bro. Yo. I, I don't know, but I don't know. If I went into that, I could... I'm not going to lie. I might be able to make 12 hours as scary as long as they're not hurting me, bro. I think... So, I think it's eight. You have to get through it through eight hours. I think I can make eight hours without them hurting me. Mm. Like, if they got to pull my teeth out, it's deep. At that point, it's deep. How much does it cost to go in there? Uh, I think it's expensive. It's like five, five, six hundred. I can't. I don't know the price. 100? Yeah, it's up there. If it's hundred, like, why are you wasting your bread, bro? Mm. Like, There's weird people in this world that just want to prove something and don't prove it. But mm-hmm. I'll, I mean, I could. Do you think you could do it? No. <laughs> Mm-mm. You didn't even like. The, no. no. No hesitation. Like not even a little bit. Like it's bro, no it's shot. like going in a haunted house is like. It's not even the pe. It's just like they just mess with Have your. Have you mind. been to one? Oh yeah, I go. I go to a bunch. It just, like, I've been to, like, me me and Jay went with uh, Fritz, UJ, and Ivy. Are you a psychopath? Nah, it's just, it's, I, it's, it's, it's that time of the, the year, I go bro. to the bunch. I go to a bunch of them. Like, it's, it's my thing. Bro, like, it's, they, like, they mess with your mind, bro. Like, the the good ones, they, like, it's not, they'll have the people that's scary, but it also, like, they, they like, noises, so you can't hear nothing, so you can't feel somebody coming up behind yeah. you. Like, there was, we went to one in, um, I forgot where it was. So like there was like uh there was like you know the it clowns yeah there was like a bunch of statues and you don't know which ones like they look like people but there's one that's actually a person so we walked past it and we was like oh, okay they're not people and then you just hear <laughs> yeah hear just jump out from behind I'm not gonna you lie, like when I went to Fright Fest one time I'm also afraid of heights and I'm six eight yes makes I, no sense I went to uh, Fright Fest all my cousins and then my dad and all that 
they went on the rides. I don't ride rides. So I'm like, I'm away at the bottom. I'm just having fun with y'all. Yeah. The worst decision I could have made. Like, I'm waiting at the bottom and all the scary niggas are just walking around and they just see, look at this clown <laughs> by himself. Like, so, like, I'm just sitting there, like, watching my left and right and they walk over and they're just, like, they're just, like, scaring me. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm dropping shit. I'm over here and I'm like, okay, I'll hurry up and ride the ride. So then I'll sit on a bench with my head down and, like, <sighs> sit here with my head down like this mm-hmm. and I'm just waiting. There was a nigga just waiting right here. In my mitt. In my mitt. Just oh, like, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking like, about. Like, he didn't move. And, like, I felt it. And I'm like, huh? So I'm like, all right. I'm like, I open my eyes without looking up. And as I open it, he's right at the bottom. Like, he's under my shit. He's under my shit. Like, <laughs> looking at me. Like, it's not, no. All right, I'm going to open my eyes, see his feet. And then I could slowly. Like, look up. Yeah, no, yeah. He's, he's, like, right in your face. And I jump. And then he, like, ah, And then, like, sprints <laughs> away. Like a little weirdo. But People then, who do those jobs are creeps. Psychopaths, bro. Then I went to a maze. I'm not gonna lie. You ever been to a mirror maze? Yeah. Like a haunted one? Mm-mm. Scary shit ever, bro. Are you serious? That oh, sounds fun. I'm bro, not gonna lie. Mirror mazes are even the even the friendly ones are scary, bro. Mm. Like even the ones that aren't like nothing scary about it. It's like lights and balloons. Those are scary as hell, <laughs> bro. You're running into mirrors like doom, doom, doom. Like and then if you with somebody and they peel a left and you don't know where the left is, yeah, you can't. Like it could be one turn you can't find. That's facts. And like, bro, I went into one and there's a clown chasing you. So you go in. Said after thirty seconds. It, the clown will come after you. I don't remember what clown. 30 seconds. Like, find it. And there's different paths you go. You go. It's like multiple clowns, though. They don't tell you that. <laughs> yeah. And they come out. And they're like chasing you. And he's like behind you with a hammer. He's like, boom. Slamming it right behind you. Mm-hmm. And he's chasing you all the way through. And it's like, you don't know where to go. You're like, please, come here. Ah! Then you like stop by a mirror. You're like stuck. And you can't look away because you can see him at all angles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't know where the hell this man is at, bro. When did you go to this? This had to be like junior year. Of what? Uh, high, high school? school. Oh, okay. Scary. What was, what was it? This is a fry sauce. Oh, fry okay, fest. okay. Got a mirror maze with a clown chasing you. Mm, I might. Shoot. Because me and Jay was going to go to Fright Fest, but shoot, that's not fun. I'm I could go, go to Fright Fest, but like. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. It's the one by. Um, Arcade shit. Yeah, it's by the carnival there. shits. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And then, like, when you run out, when you finally get out, a clown is, like, right there. And, like, yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. But I think there's a good time to end the podcast. Do you have anything you want to say? Anything. Weird, you want to say any conspiracies? You want to talk about any topics? Any oh, questions man. you got for me? Nah, that's tough, bro. Yeah. But thank you for joining the show, bro. You know I'm gonna have you on here yeah. a lot, bro. You know yeah. you're my <laughs> yeah. guy, bro. You know we have good conversation, yeah. though, my brother. Two times, Two times. Yes, gangster. Sir. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars, episode eight. If you haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. We almost have 500 followers, bro. I would never yeah. thought, bro. I never yeah. thought UJ. You said 500? Yeah, we almost had 500 on TikTok. That's so hard. Yeah, sir. We had like 451 or something like that. That's hard. So follow us on TikTok. I know regulars. Freaking UJ got us famous. For, yes, sir. That's, and he called it too. It makes me mad. Yeah, I hate because you know he cocky about that shit. He you like, know, you know. I'm like, yeah, I'm, it's my show, nigga. That's definitely what he said. That's yeah. What he said, yeah. But yeah, follow us at no regulars on you, uh, not YouTube, on TikTok, on YouTube, no regulars podcast. We're on Spotify, No Records Podcast, almost. We're about to be on Apple Music soon. I'm still working the kinks out. Yeah. And on Instagram, we're at no regulars.podcast. Yeah. Tune into that. Follow everything. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the like button, post notifications, all that. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe huh. to my YouTube. Oh, subscribe to my man, Ty YouTube, yeah. BT. What BT3 Gaming. Yes, sir. BT3 Gaming, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The, yes, was sir. it the Beefs? Beef Top 3. Beef Top 3. Yeah, you'll see it's like a little beef logo. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all enjoy your night. Oh, happy Halloween too, bro. Because, you know, it's spooky season. Yeah. I don't really celebrate Halloween, but like... Oh, my yeah. mom says it's the devil's holiday. Bro. I know, I know, I know. It's fun, though. It's, it's fun, <laughs> it's fun. You know, it's yeah. good times. But, you know what I'm saying? We different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.